All right. Well, we are back. Huh? We're back at the Nine Club. Stop and chat with our returning special, special, special guest, Stevie Williams, is yeah. with Hi. us. Yeah. No oh, doubt. No. Thank you. I love the intros. You, you do? <laughs> Thank you, man. Beef it all the, y'all beef it all the way up. Yeah. Hey, well, listen, I'll, I'll ignore all the comments then. I uh, watched his yeah. original episode, and it, your your well was a lot more mellower than it is now. If oh, really? Yeah. It's evolved a bit. <laughs> It's, oh, evolved. Like, well, it's evolved yeah. like since then. Oh, well, I got to give you one of the new W-N-B-C. ones. WNBC. <laughs> WNBC. WNBC. Enunciate. You got to enunciate. Well, Stevie Williams <laughs> there it is. is back. There we go. Yes. There we go. Yes. Listen, Stevie, thank, thank you. you so much for doing this. I, I It's What's amazing you're, you're on a private jet right now, it looks <laughs> like. Where, 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 I love it. You're in the back. Where the hell is Waldo, huh? Where, <laughs> where, where are you right now? At least y'all my brothers and y'all can catch me on the move. So it is what it is. Hey, man. Always moving. I love it. it. I love it. What did yes. you say? You were in Vegas right now? Yeah, I'm in Vegas right now helping my mom like drive back to L.A. so we can celebrate Thanksgiving with the, the kids and stuff. And then I'm going to drive her back. Amazing. And then I'm going to fly back to L.A. Oh, amazing. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. Being yeah. a son. Get- so, Son, father, skater, mm-hmm. you know, all of the about. Be, speaking of skateboarding, I just want to tell you, we were chatting a little bit before the show. What uh, you've been doing lately on a skateboard is yeah. making so many people happy. It's making myself happy. I love seeing all the clips and Jay Quan. I mean, dude, you're out there killing it every Damn. day. Hell yeah. Dude. So sick. I appreciate dude. that. Bro. Thank you. Coming from y'all, that means a lot. Yo. Thank you. It's inspirational, yeah. dude. Thank last you. Time I, last time, remember last time I was on the show, I wasn't even skating, really. <laughs> yeah, I, and you know what? I was going to actually mention that because for a while there, it, it didn't seem like you were, or maybe you were skating, but n- the clips weren't. Oh, he's got it. Oaks. Sorry. Hold no, on. you're good. Oaks. Yeah. Oaks. I love this. That's amazing. This is the best. It's amazing. Yes. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, not disappointing at all. Oh yeah, always on the move, man. Straight up, we got to catch him some way or another. <laughs> right. Right. This is how it goes, man. Right. This is. He's back. <laughs> He's <back>. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but yeah, you said you weren't skating that much, and like, what was a? Was there something that clicked in you? Was there something that? Because I seen you go work out for a, a while, and then did that get you back yeah. into skating, or what? What clicked? Man? Hell yeah, yeah. Um, actually, I was out in Barcelona with. Uh, with Boo and my partner Troy, and um, Boo was just we was at the we was at the pool and Boo was just in shape. And I was like, "What the hell you been doing?" He's like, "Oh, I've been working out." And I looked down at myself and I'm like, "Damn, I have not been doing oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> like I haven't even barely been skating, let alone working out." And I just told myself, "Like, all right, like when I get back home, I'm going to dedicate myself to like being a being a better looking person." You know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah. It was like really about like just looking pretty pretty well you know what I'm saying <laughs> yeah. and then um I had like my kids for like two weeks straight because my um their mom she yeah, works uh, yeah just tell them my name uh my, she had to go away and I had the kids for like t- two weeks and I didn't know anything to do other than just figure out what to do right and I took this boot camp class Drop off. Oh, Steve. Steve Williams <laughs> Steve Williams <laughs> Uh, okay, let me see what the other. Hold up, sorry. Yeah, boys. no, you're good. No you're good. I love this. Come along on the journey. I love it, man. Sorry, but then no, like good. I did a six, six week boot camp class, and what I found out is that um, I was one sixty five okay. and eighteen percent body fat, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and my class that I took was like if if I um lost five percent body fat. I get my money back, or if I lost 20 pounds, I get my money back. It oh, was wow. only like 500 bucks. Okay. I didn't need to lose 20 pounds at all. I knew that. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, I'll just take the five the five pounds of body fat challenge, whatever. Sure. It's called the hard body challenge. Six weeks, nutrition, the whole nine. I couldn't cook. I couldn't do anything, let alone just learn how to really be like a dad for two weeks straight <laughs> okay. every day. Sure. It just really put me in a whole cycle of just growing up. You know what I mean? Cooking, nutrition calories working out every day getting up taking the kids to school being at the gym at nine o'clock being out at 10 and then when i had the time from 10 to 2 i was like all right well let me try to skate Mm. and i was going to the barracks and then when i got to the barracks i just felt myself like feeling lighter 
Oh. So fast forward when the six weeks was over, I was 165 and um, 11% body fat. Oh, wow. So I lost, seven, I lost 7% body fat. And then I just started locking in at the barracks. Like, shout out to Cooley and um, Will Manzuri and, and Dane, because mm-hmm. they was there with me, like, faithfully, 9 o'clock in the morning at the barracks, pushing me, helping me, nice. letting me know, like, it was just, like, you don't have to do too much. Just skate. You know what I'm saying? Have fun. Sure. Yes. And it was just open, talking to Barra and just kind of coming back and just feeling comfortable and then then getting the tricks back enough to where I felt like, okay, well, maybe I could start skating again. Totally. And I was like, damn, if I dedicate myself to a whole year of skating, that could actually be, like, pretty cool. After you don't skate for a while, go ahead. Yeah, I'm get out of here. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. God bless you. Oh, yeah. Man, All right, this. so now I'm free. It's Uber. Cool. Okay. <laughs> you got... <laughs> I love hey, it. Hey, that was darker, though. Welcome to my world. <laughs> I'm going to go stand in front of somebody like All right, 3108. All right, cool. So long story short, I was able to um, really see what I wanted to, what I, I'm going to stand in front of this light, just in case. Yeah. I don't even know who house this is, but fuck <laughs> you don't stay, don't stay like, there too long. You never know. On the phone and shit, though, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, we gonna make it work. We gonna make it work. Anyway, um, do you need to go inside somewhere or something? Or are you good? Oh, well, let me see if I'm at the right address real quick. Okay, <laughs> no, this is wow. amazing. Okay, there we go. There we go. Right, we can walk and talk, player. Walk Let's and get talk. it. <laughs> so what I realized is that, like, when I started talking to Barra and skating more and being with the squad. It made me feel like amazing. And then my son came into the play where it's like he just wanted to be a skater. Right. Yeah, I'm at the right house now. So here we go. Okay, so every okay. time, every time I went and had them for the weekend, I would like bring my son with me. And he just kind of like was just like amped on it. Mm. And my other two kids wasn't too psyched on it because they don't care. They teenagers, they fucking whatever, you know what I mean? They, they play basketball. Going on, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they got their own thing going on. And it was at one point where I was trying to let them know who I was and they didn't even care. <laughs> sure. At sure. all. They <laughs> didn't care. They didn't, like, they knew, but they didn't really care, though. You right, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your dad. And then um, I was watching Tiger Woods play that one game and everybody thought Tiger Woods was washed up. Mm, you know, I everybody counted him out. And, you know, my partner Troy had... had called me was like yo you should really watch this game i'm like the fuck is he telling me to watch this game for like but like we so in sync that like i was like all right fuck it let me watch the game and as i'm watching the game i'm like hold up this nigga tiger was it really about to like win oh that was last Another year for game? the masters yeah yeah <laughs> yeah like i was like really just impressed and i ain't even gonna front i didn't even think he was gonna win i just thought you know it's dope to see him back in the game sure mm-hmm. and then when i looked over he had his kids with him <laughs> And that was like the, one of the defining moments for me where I was like, damn, I've ever had a chance to like skate again and be like who I used to be for one split second to have my kids see me in that light again. Right. Like that would mean a lot for me. That's, you know what I mean? That's awesome. Mm-hmm. And then he won. And when he won, his son was right there. Mm-hmm. Wow. Like being a dad and having a son is just like a different type of feeling. You know Definitely. what I'm saying? And, and to see to see Tiger Woods and his son share that moment was like I would love to share that type of moment again yeah. you know what I'm saying or to share that type of moment period right and then yeah. I started watching the um Michael Jordan documentary The Last Dance during COVID and it just like reminded me of like how much of an athlete like we really are despite how smart our industry are mm-hmm. despite how our industry doesn't have like real corporate quality industry standards Right. It made me look at, you know, how Jordan took his career and was so confident, no matter if it was Patrick Ewing to the fucking bench player. Like, if yeah. he wanted to smoke, he was giving it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He didn't back down. He was charismatic. He was professional, but he was a fucking killer. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And a lot of people didn't get a chance to win titles because of Michael Jordan. Yeah. And I look at that like, a lot of motherfuckers ain't in the place they need to be because Stevie Williams still in the game. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And if I hop back on the board and actually not show not just my kids, but myself, that it's still possible until my last dance. Right. I'm gonna make it fucking rock. Yeah, yeah. I love and that's it. That's when I got. That's when I got out of it and was like, I could do this for a whole nother year. 
I could do this for 10 more fucking years. I was going to say, yeah. yeah. So I'm not even at 100%, but I take every time that I skate, I take it real serious like I, like I did when, you know, when we was traveling around the world, dubs, and mm-hmm. I had to it. do things, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm doing it for fun and for, and for my legacy. The passion's still there, bro. We see it, bro, there. every day. Yep. Every day I'm seeing it. Yeah, it's it's really my son. My son be there, too. Like, if you look at a lot of my footage, mm-hmm. yep. like, my son is in the background. Yeah. And that's like that Tiger Woods moment for me where he see, like, me trying all day, a fucking trick, landing it, people clapping. Yeah. Lines. Like, he see it all. And I sh- it shows in his skating. And it also shows, like, in our squad of what we build at Jaquan, too. So, yeah. It, it feels good. Like it's a good thing. And how yeah. old is he? He's six. Six years old. Yeah. How yeah, does it man. feel to see your son skating like that, man? It's pretty. It's really cool to see him like progressing so fast. Yeah, well, I'm a dad though, so like he really don't. He's starting to look at me like a trainer, but I'm like I'm dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm yelling and, and, and like you know I'm 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 a dad. So he I'm not like he'll take to like other people trying to teach him how to do tricks. Mm-hmm. When it comes with me, I'm super serious. Like. Yeah. Like, nigga, if you want to do this and you say you want to be like me, then, nigga, you got to do it this way. And sometimes you'll see him crying and I'll yell at that nigga from across the fucking skate fucking yes. plaza <laughs> because I'm watching him and skating at the same time. Yeah. But at the same time, like, nigga, if you're going to be out here doing it, like, you're going to do it the fucking the right way. Right. And it sucks that you're my son because <laughs> I'm going to be on that ass. Yeah. And I don't get with any of these other niggas is out here telling you how to do it. Once you come back to me and we at the dinner table, whatever the fuck that nigga told you, if it wasn't right, that nigga's wrong. And if you want to take his side, then you ain't going to make it. Like, I'll, talk, I'll keep it a thousand. Sure, sure. Because, yeah. because I'm out there skating too and I trust him being around my homies yeah. to teach him certain things because sometimes he don't want to listen to me yep. like a coach. And I, he looks at me like a dad. Mm-hmm. But on the flip side, I take him to the skate park like for an hour and a half every day just to, just to let him rock and um, walk the dog and shit like that. Just being a dad. It's amazing, man. It's amazing how some little things in life, like the Tiger Woods and then the last dance, it could just spark you, you know? It just Mm -hmm. sparks, right? And even just talking to Boo. Like the wrecking wrecking ball shit sparked me too. It was like right at that time I was like watching the last dance and Mm -hmm. like wrecking ball just was like still at the the side of my mind where like I got to put this fucking goofy nigga away. (laughs) And the only way that I could do it is by on some Michael Jordan type shit. Like, no matter if, if you on a court and you talking shit, it's about skill. You could talk as much shit as you want to, right? But nigga, that basket better go in. Yeah, so at the end of right. the day, we could talk whatever we want, but let's let's get this battle shit popping. And the nigga folded. And I told my other son, as he was like, "Who is this dude you battling online?" I said, "Watch this. I'm gonna show you how to kill a troll." Okay. Just keep paying attention. And it's about talent and skill and professionalism. The jokes and all of that shit is whatever. Right. But at the end of the day, it's about talent, skill, and results. And that's what Michael Jordan displayed. And that's what we all been doing for our career. So it sparked me to just be in attack mode. Like, fuck it. I mean, yeah, I, I saw some of the back and forth yeah. and I was like, I don't know what's going on. And this Hell is, yeah. I, was I mean, when I looked like, at Michael Jordan, it's like, he didn't back down from none of that shit. No matter true. what the commentator said, no matter right. what the media said, no matter how they made him feel right if you want competition with the best nigga come get this smoke <laughs> yeah yeah straight up i love it and it's there on some skate shit yeah like not even on nothing else like on some skateboard shit hands down like if you think you that fucking big to battle a nigga like me nigga you better come with it and i'm <laughs> and i'm older so well we also you can't beat me at 40 nigga you definitely didn't want it at 22 i was gonna say <laughs> we we grew up in, yes. we, we grew up in that era of like you know talking Niggas shit know what and, you yeah, know what i mean shit, like but you had to back it up though exactly. you actually had to back it up with actually having a fucking real sponsor that's, that's what made me look at it like you from the like not just specifically him because it's not really about him it's like why the, our industry don't have certain standards to keep niggas like him on a fucking bench. Mm. Because you can p- shoot three free throws, you can shoot three pointers in your backyard or your fucking your gym or at Equinox, where the fuck you at? But when you in the NBA, you sit your ass on a court and you watch LeBron James play. <laughs> yeah. You can't get up there and talk about, oh, I'm better than LeBron. And just because you got followers or you got your little crowd around you in the gym mm-hmm. rooting you on, 
If you ain't make it to the NBA, dog, sit your ass on a bench and watch the like in the stands. Not even on the bench, in the stands. <laughs> and watch the professionals play fucking their sport. Sure, yeah. But with skateboarding, we don't have no standards to separate goofy niggas like that. So they feel as though they could really just still interrupt our hard work by their little fucking comments. And they take a nigga like me or whoever else to say, yo, I ain't with all of that shit. Like, if you gonna battle me, dog, like, bring that shit. Because right. I'm gonna smoke you, bro. And that's why everybody watched me display trick for trick, run it. Or shut it the fuck down, yeah, like, and then nigga got shut down, and we moved the fuck on. Right. Next. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he definitely next, did. Nigga. So that was the end next. of it. That was the end of it. <laughs> it's a wrap. It's next. Who is it? Wow. But it really was like me looking at Michael Jordan mm-hmm. and saying, like, what would Jordan do? And I was sitting up here washing dishes, and I was like, oh, I got something for this fucking goofy nigga, y'all. <laughs> like, it's about skateboarding, dog. And trick for trick, pound for pound, niggas ain't fucking with me, y'all. Man, hey, man. No, especially Straight if they're up. trolling like that, you know what I'm saying? Like he he wanted something and he got it, you right. know. And, yeah, right. I'm saying. I mean, he's gonna get something. He might as well got that skate shit because that's where we at. And, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it really like woke me up where like I wanted to go skate every morning to like learn some shit. It was dope. Like, and now I'm like, you know, eight months later, I'm like, wow, this is. I love it. I love our culture. I love what we do. I yeah. love our sport. I love the competitiveness. I love I love it all. So and, he, and he, came, he came it, at the right time. He came at the right time. He did he was ready and you just put him on display. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, I did that for everybody. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how we got down back in the day, dubs. It was like, okay, well, this is an opportunity for me to show everybody that's watching. Uh-huh. Like I still got some gas in the tank. Yeah, but this love shit it. fucking this shit petro though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Bro, you definitely are. It's that man. gas for European cars and rockets. This ain't for fucking Civics and fucking and mopeds, nigga, stop it. You're on the high octane. I mean, we built this life to to have this this type of fucking octane gas that we it's true. might as well use it. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. we all we all sit up here and put in hard work to to respect our culture. And I'd be damned if I let a nigga that ain't put no work in fucking try to assassinate any one of our characters. If I gotta go down for it, at least niggas know. You know what I'm saying? I stood up for it, but I knew a nigga like that wasn't going even come close to this fucking smoke that we do Mm -mm. like at all nigga so i just wanted to show my son and show everybody that you know i'm saying i'm still as confident as i as i used to be Mm -hmm. on the board but i can actually show it too and and have fun like Mm -hmm. it is what it is oh for sure and speaking of building a career and everything and just skate like man you've done it man like yeah. you have goes without being said, put in the sure. work and i mean look where you are look yeah, where you man. are you were in an uber going to the sahara now you're in somebody you're, you went to the wrong house now you're in the right house you know what i mean look at you i ain't even gonna hold you i'm at my fucking one of my best friend's house that his his first house that he just bought oh sick and um we're here to celebrate and just kick it and just be regular human beings you know what I'm saying? amazing I love it. amazing it ain't about nothing but just Having a having a great life, celebrating and, and life, enjoying bro. it with yeah. the ones that you that you know work hard for the shit. Man, I mean, absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. So everything else good though. I mean, like, of course we see you skating in the you know in the in the Jaquan and doing all that. Mm-hmm. And what's it, what's going on in like everyday life for Stevie? I'm a dad, dog. I fucking wake up seven o'clock in the morning. I'm at the gym at eight forty five. I'm up by ten. Wow. Um, I'm skate. And when I got my kids, I'll set up the homework in the school. Mm-hmm. If I don't go to the gym. And then by 11, all of that's done. By like 12, I'm taking my other son to Granada Hills for his basketball practice. Okay. Then in between that, I take my son skating for like an hour and a half. And then, you know, take them back home, do homework. Maybe hit the barracks, maybe not. Mm-hmm. Try to knock out some work myself. TV, dinner. Wow. Man, man, that's, that's a day right yeah, there. That, that is a day. Yeah. That's a day. I would need four <laughs> naps throughout the day. Hey, if I'm smoking hella weed, I'm fucking <laughs> in between nap and shit. They gotta wake me up. Like, yo, <laughs> like yeah. I do basketball yeah. practice. Right, are, you, go. are you going yeah, to yeah. Uh, Dog Pound, which is like where Vinnie Ponte works at? Is that where you yeah, go, I go to? Yeah, go to Dog Pound sometimes. Yeah, hmm. I, um, I don't go there all the time because. I don't, my routine is in my neighborhood. I don't want to like, I don't drive as much. So I, I don't want to have to sit in traffic yeah. to go work out. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Like my gym is like five blocks. I walk to the gym or I'll skate to the gym. I'll oh, be perfect. there by 8.45. I got my classmates that we 
all locked in. I still do the boot camp class every day. Wow, so, like, dude. That's something that I'm like kind of into to keep incorporated into to your keep life where style. I'm at right now. Yeah, yeah like, like you still in the valley, right? Thursdays. No, I'm downtown. Okay. Oh, you downtown? But I do conditioning on Thursdays so I can skate as long as I possibly can on Sundays. Gotcha. Mm. So it really like helps me with like breath control and, and stretching. I'll be talking to the personal trainer dude on like what I can do mm -hmm. to get an extra two hours of breath. So like we've been kind of going over that. Amazing. It's like just little things like that that makes my makes my world a little bit better for what I want to do and like what I dedicated myself for. Well, it's also, just to be a, a better skater and a better better dad and a better skater. Right. I mean, in skateboarding, it's a stamina, right? It's like, how long can you yeah, go for? Stamina. You want to yeah, skate yeah. for six hours, uh, but your yeah. body's saying four, right? Like, how do I get up to six? Yeah. I mean, yesterday I went and fucking skated Jay Kwan, dog. And the third, like I, I set up a new setup. The third trick I've tried, like I landed on top of the wax and slid out backwards mm. and it was a wrap. I gave up for the rest of the day. Oh. It was like one of those slams that mm -hmm. was just. I get you. Sometimes they, you know, those slams oh that's just yeah. unbelievable. No, oh, that And you taking out. those slams at forty is like that Sh shit is shake like, your whole world. Yeah. <laughs> man, my, my pinky, my pinky still numb from yesterday. Oh, I'm damn. like, God damn. damn. So I, I mean, I, t I take these bruises, but at least I had something like to do it for. Mm -hmm. And then with skateboarding being so popular, I think skateboarding just just passed like basketball or something like that as far as like oh, it's most popular. popular sports right now yeah yeah the industry alone is just seeing it right now mm -hmm. like can't keep boards in stock i mean the board okay. shortage is, is a thing but people are out there buying boards well, hopefully oh, the yeah. price of boards go up now since it's a shortage see a lot of people man yeah. it, seems like it seems like that's gonna be the case we've talked about that on the show mm -hmm. for sure it should be the case i mean the price of boards been the same since the 80s or something. I know. Like that. Pretty like much. Long yeah, time, change. Man. Yeah. Pretty much. The supply, and, supply and demand. Yeah. yeah but that, so, I mean, like, look it's it. a whole nother situation where niggas, they, there's too many skaters and not enough board companies. Though, right. Too. If wood at Home Depot is going up at this time, then I'm Rats. saying, I'm saying the same shit. Like, then. Go. Is wood at Home Depot yeah. going up? Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. You, wow. Not for nothing. Just because of, of what's happened currently, you know, people boarding up their fucking front. Mm -hmm. and, oh, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's that car, extra yeah. shit right there and yeah. people are really building on their houses right now and doing a lot of construction if you haven't noticed yeah. people are doing some shit yeah. 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 yeah so yeah they probably in that motherfucker building forts and shit this shit done got crazy <laughs> yeah. straight up yeah. the riots and the Black Lives Matter and the the Lakers and the, mm -hmm. the Dodgers and oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's different and I love it because it, feel, it really feel like culture's back for mm -hmm. some reason mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the true authentic culture is, is, is being revealed once again because all of the fluff and the smoke and mirrors has been like evaporated yeah it's a beautiful thing yeah, yeah it's mm -hmm. cool to see people actually it's a beautiful thing woke <laughs> woke yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like the fake woke motherfuckers too is like it's you know we've been on this for a long time mm -hmm. and skateboarding has always been like the forefront of like survival and fashion and mm -hmm. a lot of things that people have taken from our our tree and and developed in the whatever they wanted it to be without giving us our credit you know a lot of those people right now is, is they don't have nothing you know they don't really have an authentic purpose mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying they they they've been taken from cultures for so long that now that it's been taken from them. They don't really know what to do. Now you want to pick up a skateboard? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I be cracking the fuck up sometimes. But at least we got the point where they're giving us our props. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And that's all that matters to me. For us, to, for a nigga like me that goes so hard and being cultural and authentic to the culture, finally, we we, we looking really great out there, yo. No doubt. And I, I commend it. all y'all. We it. all put the work in. Speaking of skating and all, how's DGK doing? DGK is doing phenomenal. I, I, I bet. I, I yeah. bet. <laughs> I bet. I love it. I bet. <laughs> yes. You yeah, know. that shit was, people try to count us out, which, you know, we gave reasons to believe that, but you know what I'm saying? That always happens, right? People always it try to count happen. somebody it out and this and that, yeah. right? And you you just, mm -hmm. you, you look at that and you take that and you're like, no. You I know. mean, I can a thousand percent tell you that Nigga, I counted that shit out before. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and and I'll be the first one to say it, but at the end of the day, like it's it's it ain't never went anywhere. Right. You know what I mean? It was just it had to go through what it had to go through, just like every other fucking brand mm -hmm. has sure. a story and what they went through. It's just a story. For sure. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But the results, 
are phenomenal. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I the, love sto- it. The story matches the results. Right. So, you know, at this time, you know, looking at a bunch of skaters, uh, the new generation of skaters, our generation of skaters that actually made ourselves into something for the next generation of skaters to actually look at us valuable. Mm-hmm. And not a lot of us made it. You know what I'm saying? So True. looking True. at the kids at Jay Kwan is like, them niggas know nothing about anything. Mm-hmm. And they're yearning to learn what we all had and took for granted. Mm-hmm. So sure. now it went from me skateboarding and having fun to it being like a, a cultural obligation for me to participate in give the right information to the kids. I love it. Because man. if ain't nobody else going to do it, like, who the fuck else going to do it? Yeah. Hey, I mean, that's why we're here too, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like all the people that want to learn about their favorite skaters and this and that, favorite companies, I mean, it's tune in, way. you it's know? a good way yeah, to learn. For sure. for sure. Hell yeah. Y'all need to have an episode about industry standards because this fucking Let's skateboarding be- definitely doesn't have we spoke on it. Strong we definitely spoke standards. on it before. And we, Drawn definitely. Yeah, yeah, on we that. had yeah, spoke yeah. on it. Fuck, I sure. ain't see that episode. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> no, no. I, I was no, about, it's one of those like brief moments. It's not even like yeah. fully diving in. You know I what I mean? Need to be a whole fucking topic. I was gonna say, to come, come be on our panel. Yeah. Come be on the <laughs> panel. <man. laughs> that would be yeah. awesome. Yeah, hey, Dub, Dub, hey, Dub, if anybody know me, Dub know me, nigga. I, man. I be having a lot of shit to say, but I don't really think niggas is ready for it. I got to dumb my shit down. <laughs> no, he but got, he, he, he has, has a lot of information. Is, yeah, so it's too much. But what I can narrow it down to is to say that collectively, we all share this industry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if we collectively stood for a higher standard of our industry, we wouldn't have so many goofball motherfuckers coming in, taking and destroying what we've built without giving us any credit or type of fucking financial pension mm. man i can go on for days about this I, shit. well hey, like i said we're gonna put a panel together now yeah. and you're gonna be the first one we call you know Fuck a panel. we need to put a motherfucking commission or some shit together. <laughs> let's do it motherfuckers man. have a commission of this of this game because people like when i look at other sports that's inspired by us they lose us when they find out that we have no like governing type of standard Oh, it's a wild, wild right. west. But that's not that's not the best fucking thing. Right, right. Like that's the total opposite of what we need. A- but there's there's none of us that can actually like speak collectively for one common voice to say that this is the standard of our industries. And if we all have these type of brands, especially these top brands, mm-hmm. then collectively we all hold each other accountable at this standard. Yeah. It, it's a, it, it's a lot. If you want to try to like form yeah. this stuff and it, it, it yeah. that's a lot of work, yeah. you know, and skateboarding is such a free spirited, like, you know, but we, it started with a conversation of, of 1000%. I agree. Yeah. I agree it's with you on that. Yeah. But I think it's, you know, it's so self-contained and it's been like that for so long that I think it's hard to like get people out of the frame to really openly fucking entertain it. Look, Stevie, you, you have a voice, so it's not like you yeah. can't, you know, put yeah, forth the effort in that yeah. sense. You know, you definitely could be one of those guys. I'm the to type really of nigga that's that gonna shit. spark the conversation. You know, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll spark the conversation, but you know, I didn't spark so much shit, and then <laughs> I didn't watch niggas fucking backpedal. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That it's just like I can't do everything by myself, right. and I don't yeah. try to do everything no by doubt. myself. Sure, but sure. it don't stop me from thinking about what like what possibilities could yeah. be for us collectively because you know what I'm saying like nigga we ain't young no more so mm-hmm. you know when it's over for us like whose job is it to really give the next generation the right information well, look, I'll, ju- I'll jump on that panel with you right now there you, you go, know what I'm there you, go. But, yeah. you know what I'm saying we got a board but member right you, here yeah I mean it ain't like it's it's, a, it's an industry thing it's, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a real thing I mean I talked to Jim Thibault about it for like 45 the minutes best person to talk to about it's, it's not something like a make happen is more something like collectively together we can all have certain type of standards for ourselves wow. so other industries can look at us like we're a professional industry mm-hmm. not an industry a bunch of fucking kids doing a bunch of lawless shit mm-hmm. with mom and pop businesses that you know here today and gone tomorrow right like right. that shit is real when you're talking about like business and ethics and shit like that for sure. oh for sure Economic, economics and in a whole industry that people like boast and brag about that you know it's like a four to maybe five point billion dollar industry and growing because of how scarce the wood is but at the same time you got niggas like my nigga henry sanchez that you know niggas don't even really know about 
You know right. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Things like that is like, you know, while I'm still skating, I'm not saying that's a hard pill to swallow, but it's something that I think about at nighttime. You know? Mm-hmm. No. I think it- when I look at the kids, I look at them and I ask them about certain things. And when I get people outside of the industry, I ask them about what do they think about our industry? And at the end of the day, like, you know, if we really want to, you know, control some of that, some of the billions that's going around on the behalf of us, I think that we should create some type of like industry standard collectively that we all stand by to make sure that the the, the, the skaters or businesses that come under this type of situation is protected. You know what I'm saying? Well, listen, I mean, it can go down to as simple as like insurance. You know what I mean? Like everybody growing up, I mean, skaters, we don't have insurance. I, I wasn't provided insurance. I wasn't even provided you know, like how to do my taxes, you know, it's little things like that too. The smallest little thing. But the little things like that exactly are the fucking, like they would never allow that in the NBA. Right. Of course. Because it's below their standards. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> <Totally>. <laughs> yeah. Like how dare you not pay your taxes or I, tr- I truly do feel you on that, mm-hmm. but it's so, it's, I could see the, the, what is it? Hypocrisy. Okay. About this. Hypocrisy. Yeah, yeah. About, about skateboarding, which, it can't be compared to like a, another sport because it's just so unique in itself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's All like, right. well, there's no on. league to it. Well, you know hold what on, I mean? on. Like, What's unique uh, about $4.4 billion fucking industry? No, look, uh, look, you, you got a point, but are we talking collectively on, on shoes with, within, uh, are we just talking straight skateboards? Everything collectively. Okay. Collectively. So then that, that, that big portion that you're talking is shoes and shoes is, I mean, and clothes and, and, yeah. and clothes. So, I mean, Mm-hmm. The the sliver of a billion. Well, I don't even know if it, it could be a billion just from skateboarding. Maybe but look, I don't but know. It I don't know. But, but I'm just saying. But, but but the but the foundation and the basis mm-hmm. of being a professional skateboarder always come back to the skateboard deck company that you're riding. Yeah. So if you skate for most a respected boo-boo, part you skate for yeah. a boo boo ass brand, then you get in a boo boo ass shoe company. If you skate for a list company. You get the A list shoe brand. We all but that's know changing people. to a degree. Yeah. I, I think you know what I mean. Like, just because like there's people that are eating and living and don't got no board sponsors off of shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like, so and this energy well, drink. and the energy like, and the energy social drink. Media. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And social, social media as well, of course. Yeah. And social media. Yeah, you know what I mean? Media. Paying because you gotta people. you gotta have followers for them to for sure pay for you to you know do your thing and because they do thing. know you don't have a board sponsor and because you have a Red Bull or a GoPro yeah, or yeah. a fucking Doritos, wherever the fuck it is. Yeah. It's keeping you skating, but it's also changing and evolving the industry mm-hmm. in a way where, like I was talking to Paulo Diaz yesterday about like, if you're really trying to be pro today, you can't go and do it the same format that me and you no, and I, Kelly oh, yeah. and Chris no, turned sure. pro. Like no. you can't do it that way. No, and if yeah. you're trying to do it that way, then you're an idiot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and anybody trying to tell you to keep doing it that way, like it's not gonna work. Like mm-hmm. the new way is to do it off of social media, popularity, numbers, right? E com mm-hmm. and then having a solid purpose for people to follow you and being authentic to that purpose. Yeah. Very That's true. what people are being drawn to right now. Yeah. So brands are like I'm not saying a dime a dozen because these kids are out there creating their own brands doing fifteen, twenty thousand a month. Yeah, I was just like, saying, I was just saying that like no, yeah. That people don't care to be on a brand these days. They just want to get followers and fucking yeah, get crazy. likes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and that don't get me wrong. Like, but, it's but gratifying imagine if people to didn't care about going to the NBA anymore. Yeah, if people didn't care right. about going to the NBA anymore, then you have a bunch of and ones and this that and this that. And like, no, nah, they not allowing that. Though. If you want to be you. a professional be basketball crazy, yeah. player, I feel you. No, that's what it's turning into. Yeah, but see, we have brands like Nike and Adidas and. New Balance mm-hmm. and, you know, that came in and really like knew how to do it in such a professional, better way <laughs> than skateboarders running skate brands. Then they was able to sustain and double down on marketing and like kind of push real skate brands besides bands like mm-hmm. out of the way. That's what corporate structure and money will do. You know that's I mean? because we don't have any fucking corporate standards or, but where like, are we, we are we trying any. to infiltrate other industries like we are p- industries are infiltrating our shit yeah you know what i mean because and it's, it's for such a reason fun, it's a, because it's, it's a, a cool, reason yeah you're right it's a cool cool culture that fucking skaters have set up that is very sought after and i yeah. look i'm, I'm a diehard motherfucking open. skateboarder 
and I, ain't I know, going and nowhere. And we we stay we stay diehard skating, and and the people that didn't learn, like me and you, we didn't have time to really jump in and learn business while we was actually being right. professional on the road. Right. You know, it was a lot of the, the dudes that maybe wasn't pro skaters or friends of pro skaters or old pro skaters that learned the business, started companies, had manufacturing um, relationships, good credit, and all of that type of stuff to actually help out their friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah. this, our industry is from basically helping each other out, definitely staying skating and putting a little bit of money in our pocket. Sure. Yeah, yeah. But when he, but that shit grew into such a big, huge, humongous business that none of us really took the time to learn real huge structural business. Yeah. So when these dudes come in, they kind of see what we lack in and they kind of like, you know, run laps around us yeah. and shit. Like it's weird. That's why I respect that's the all boils, That's what all boils down to like me saying, all right, well, if we did have a collective set of industry standards, mm -hmm. we can collectively let who and what we want in there as long as it's benefiting the people that came and devoted their time, energy, sweat, equity, and life for this fucking industry for people to monetize off of. Totally. You understand what I'm saying? It goes yeah. deep, man. It goes really deep. Yeah, it goes deep. deep. That's yeah. why I'm like, deep. I don't want to take this whole time into turning it into this. Book. No, I, I actually love <laughs> it know, because I'm just sitting here kind of, up, I'm know. sitting here kind of absorbing all of what you're saying because yeah, we think we've, we thought about it. We, we've always wished like, you, like you spoke on Henry, Henry Sanchez and yeah. there, uh -huh. there's like Alfonso Rawls. Your favorite like the, skaters, favorite The dopest skater. dudes yeah. ever. Favorite that, skaters, favorite skaters. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. It's like, you know, those dudes should have a, a, a shoe on Nike. Those dudes should have the the best of the best. Well, DGK, we we got this we got this thing called Street Soldiers that we do for skaters that I definitely looked up to in my career, mm -hmm. which is Javier Nunez, mm -hmm. Kevin Taylor, mm -hmm. um, Paulo Diaz, Henry Sanchez, and a bunch of hip hop dudes that you know just so constantly trying to keep pushing the culture. I mean, Dub, you remember when I used to go up to rappers? asking them do they want to skateboard mm -hmm. and shit like <laughs> you know just being bold enough to help push the culture because we all in it together you yeah. know what i'm saying and when we give back like from save by skateboarding we actually put hand put skateboards complete skateboards in the hands of kids that would never probably ha could afford to even buy a skateboard yeah. mm -hmm. let alone one of those kids being one of the Ill, turning out to be one of the illest kids in the skate industry ever like totally you know it's it's just giving back and providing because we know that we're not smart enough to beat out these super big, smart business big wigs, but collectively we could, you know, like control it in a way where, you know, it's okay that people come in. Cause I like what Nike is doing. I like what New Balance is doing. I like what Adidas is doing. Right. They making that shit look dope. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they're taking care of their people look, for sure. Yeah. That, like, and you know, like once the bro homie start the company, and then the bro homies start to get a little shady. That's when it's like, yeah, we all have been through that. Right? Uh, <laughs> sure. yeah. Then it's like, yeah. fuck, I shouldn't have did the bro deal. I should have just went to the to the structure. Like, it, it, And that's what I'm talking about. That middle gray area mm -hmm. is where like, who is there to tell us like, eh, you know, it's not really too good to do the bro deal. Right. And you know, I think it's dope for you to do such and such and such, but also protect the such and such from coming in and just attacking and infiltrating mm -hmm. our system to where we don't have any like say so no more. Yeah. It's you know almost like saying? you're talking mm -hmm. about like almost like an agent's job, a manager's job and an owner's job kind of all into one and like looking but out. That's for your everybody. job as a pro skater and yeah. to skate. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> like right. how are you going to do that at 21 years old? Yeah. Oh, like I you said, I, manager, nobody, you your agent. nobody yeah. even told me to save my money for taxes. Like they just said, here's a check. I said, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go buy some yeah, shit. Facts. We all did. Yeah. yeah. So Uncle Sam come knocking. And, oh and yeah. He's still he's like, knocking. What about all that shit you didn't bought? Yeah, yeah. He, he, he's he still won't forever knocking. He still, he's yeah. still, he still does not go away. He does not go away. <laughs> no, he ain't going away. He's in my ring doorbell every Uncle, every year. Hey, hey, you can't even die and shit without that nigga knocking at the casket. <laughs> oh, they still don't get. They still yeah. asking for money. Right? <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, 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 you can't die yet, nigga. You can't die yet. You owe me a thousand dollars. Ding dong. Uh oh. They gonna get it somewhere or another. Here's this motherfucker wow. coming back. No, it's true. It's but true. It's, it's dope that we can all sit up and talk about these things because if we can open up a dope conversation, yeah. we can let brands know that it's cool to come in our industry and take care of our riders. Mm -hmm. But now it might be cool to like look at, you know, 
the founders and 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 see if they're okay. Sure, I mean, that's what yeah. DGK do. You know, what I'm saying? like we don't do it for everybody. Right. Don't right. get me wrong. Like I'm not here to save the fucking world. Like I'm here to just you know authentically give back to the people that I, that I think deserve it from right. my opinion mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but it would be really dope if i seen a lot of other brands do that as well which they are mm-hmm. and i'm not taking anything away from anybody i'm just saying like collectively this is our industry yeah yep. we can control it and we could let anybody in and kick anybody the fuck out hey well let me tell you something we're here stevie is if you ever want to come back i'm not ending this by all any means but i'm just saying <laughs> We're here, yeah. you know, if you ever want to come back and start a conversation yeah. or just or just have an episode just fully focused about this, like, yeah, hey, by all means, let's do that. You know, like, a little round table, going, round table. You know? I think we, have, we should have a private conversation first. OK, oh, of course. Uh, yeah, 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 I mean, that, that would be where we well, start. Right. Sure. It's a positive thing because mm-hmm. there's a there's a lot of kids out there. There's too many kids for, for too many brands, first of all. Sure. But there's also a lot of kids out there that skate for fun that have the possibility to, to really blow this into like the future. And then there's also a possibility where all of these kids that skating that's gonna be out there for the future don't know shit about us. Yeah, and that's like that's what it. I'm scared of. Right. That's that's like my, my last spark where like, fuck, if I don't do it right now and the kids don't even know who I am, mm. then how are they gonna talk about me when they get older? Sure. Right. Maybe I'm obsolete. So I got to get, I got to get back in the game. Yeah, like, right. And that's my mentality. Like, and I don't like giving up. No, man. You know and you're saying? doing it, dude. You're <laughs> the little. Yeah. Oof, well, man. that's, a, that's one thing about skateboarding. Like, you know, it's not, that, it's not a professional sport in the sense of like, where you're going to play NBA. You, once you retire, you're retired. I mean, you can come yeah. back, but it's like very fucking rare. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Rare. Where right. in skateboarding, you can come you're it, the wel- your welcome mat's always there. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and well, if right. you can yeah. really rep and get your shit out there like that and you back, yeah. then mm-hmm. come on. This is where you're at, Stevie. You you have really, you're back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I think the way I'm seeing, I'm seeing. I ain't saying that, though. I, 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 mean, I look I at it that way. That. I look at it that way. I ain't saying I appreciate that, though. Yeah. Hey, do it the right way. I, mean, I still got tricks that I can't do yet. So I don't But have you like done, like, I'm just asking you this. Have you done something have that you haven't done? Cause it seems like as yeah, recently, I, I've done a switch five old switch tray. That was yeah, like, so that's what I'm yeah, saying. Right. Pushing it right there, yeah. you know? right there. There's some H and M jeans too, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Styled out as well, you know. You know, what? I think uh, I think skateboarders loved it because you did it in like this new generation of way of doing it, like social media wise. Yeah. It was like. It was so relieving. Yeah. Well, you know? I, like I'm following yeah. your story now. Yeah. You know, I'm following with you. I, I feel like I'm there. I'm, I'm wor- I see you working out and then I'm see you at Jake yeah. and then I yeah. see you here with the kid. I see you in my, I'm like, I'm following you along. You see it. Yeah. And yeah. You see me in in, in some Nikes too. Them shit's looking hard. Oh yeah, the oh, transition yeah. is there. Trust Here me, we are. were gonna talk about <laughs> what, what's going on with the, with the Virgil no, Nike. Shout out to shout out. To, oh yeah, Virgil, that's my dog. Right? Yeah, Virgil is that's he's man. He's I told I just got finished talking to him actually earlier and shit. Oh, that's said. my dog. We, yeah. we we go over a lot of methods. Mm-hmm. Like he's a methodical dude, and mm-hmm. so am I. Dubs know that. Yeah, um, creative. Me and him mm-hmm. really just like locked in on some like creative shit he just sent me a line one day and i was like oh nigga i know what you're talking about and then we just been going back and forth so you know i learned a lot from him and and still learning a lot mm-hmm. and i think right now um i actually can put him onto a few things which is which is dope and he's re- super receptive to it amazing like, I love it. Thread. yeah it's really dope so he's been giving a lot of dope skaters some sneaks and yeah, we um, see it yeah we definitely see it a lot of niggas be hating on him and shit but at the end of the day like what I, what I say about Virgil, and this is separate from Nike, mm. is that, you know, a lot of y'all seen a lot of people try to come in through me, try to come in around me, and they just never fucking made it. You dig what I'm saying? Right. Like, I'm not even gonna say no names, but at the end of the day, like, Virgil's the only nigga that came correct. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He sure. came a thousand percent correct but he seems like he Despite comes from, he comes, look from at his, he comes from it from some some degree you know what i mean like he has ivan next to him he, well, he comes from it from a, a non-ego standpoint yeah, yeah, like yeah, non-ego. Yeah. that's yeah, where he comes for sure, from like, for we, sure. we, we, I, we talk, I talk to him about it it's mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's it's humbling because yeah. when i see people coming into our industry through i'll just say me mm-hmm. i feel like i'm responsible sometimes if they become takers 
You know, right. I can't be responsible for their career. I can't even speak on the behalf of, of their moves. Hmm. So I start really fucking with niggas like that. Yeah. But yeah. when Virgil came along, he um he just he just sparked something dope back into all of us as as street skaters. Um, when it was a time where we was getting outshot out shined and outshadowed by contest skaters. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Right. And it, 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 it glorifies something that fashion and skateboarding is at a pinnacle where somebody like Virgil can actually put it on the front line without taking from it. Mm, he yeah. didn't have to skate. Totally. He used to skate. Mm-hmm. He didn't hop in and say, oh, I'm a skateboarder now. He linked Lucian up with Louis Vuitton. Right, yeah. First black dude ever to get a shoe by Louis Vuitton. It's a skate shoe too. Amazing. That means a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm it's a black culture, to black people, whether people want to give it up to us or not. It ain't even about no Black Lives Matter shit. It's just about mm-hmm. like, just culture and fashion period, right? Mm-hmm. So with me and him, like doing a DGK, Virgil, Stevie Williams Limited skateboard, it also opened up a whole another conversation for DGK to be taken serious as a true authentic brand. And Virgil helped pe- people see that in that light of, of positive quality, you know, collaborations and shit like that. Sure. Of course we had Zoomies. We've been around for close to 20 years. Mm-hmm. Dope professional skateboarders. But I watched a lot of brands come and take a lot of our shit. And then, you know, now I wouldn't say discredit us, but like I said, count us out. Mm-hmm. So when I look at somebody as powerful as Virgil, and I think to myself, damn, this is actually the type of shit I pray for. This is what I work hard for. Right. I actually have a conversation with this dude. Mm-hmm. Y'all know I'm good friends with Tommy Hilfiger. Right. I didn't talk about, I didn't talk to Tommy about a bunch of different things. So my conversation with Virgil is, is, is pretty similar, you know? He's in a whole nother world I want to know about. Right. I want to see how I can apply that to whatever I'm doing, or I want to see if I'm doing something wrong or incorrect to where, how can I fix it? Or is there any type of room for improvement for, for me to actually do my thing? And can I get DGK back into the conversation of it being like a legit, powerful, outstanding, phenomenal brand? Mm-hmm. And yes, he has helped me with that tremendously. Yeah. Along with skating, fashion, um, anything else that you that 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 me and him talked about that contributed to the success of where we at now, it's more like on top of that, the nigga was throwing me free Nikes that was not even out yet. Yeah, yeah. So of course I knew what to do with them. Right. You know what I'm <laughs> that was a no brainer. Yeah. But what that spark was, my kids' interest on looking at what I really do for this culture how people that's in a position of power of fashion look at me and and how I can represent that as well. So my kids went crazy when the Virgil sneakers came in <laughs> and and that right there was just enough to be like, okay, I know what to do with this. Yeah. I know exactly what to do with this. I'm going to keep skating and let niggas know that fashion and skateboarding has caught up and again, I'm right right here with it. Mm-hmm. Because Dubs know how much money I done spent on sneakers and did a bunch <laughs> of shit that was the world all over. Me, him, and Tony done had extra bags of clothes being in Italy. And is a bag, this the bag from shit you bought? <laughs> yeah, it's a bag, bag for extra shit, you know what I mean? But we all remember Dub, we in Milan and Hell shit. Yeah. We, Shopping at Prada, like this before yeah. <laughs> anybody even cared about what fashion and no skateboarding doubt. was. This or is just, real shit. You know, Rick Howard and took us around the fucking world. And mm-hmm. they got some me iceberg out there. Yeah, Tony I remember. Iceberg. I was like, nigga, always been on that fashion Crazy. shit. But yeah. it finally caught up where at this time where I wasn't skating and Virgil was hot, my kids is fucking beautiful and I'm healthy. Like, why not? Man. Yeah. You yeah. feel me? Like, yeah. why not? And yeah. then, and I wasn't even asking for no shoes. He was like, yo, can you skate in these shoes? I, I, I throw some clips up on my Instagram. I'm like, oh shit, nigga, I'm stuck at 128,000 followers. Of course. <laughs> yeah, of course, right. Shit. Fuck you, too. <laughs> Get on this nigga page and dance, nigga. Like, and that's how my nigga Cooley. Hey, look, and that's how my nigga Cooley. Uh, yeah. Hey, y'all gonna wow. crack that. Look, check this out. Look. You I think I ain't even have no right filmer there. and shit. I ain't had no filmer at all, my nigga. I'm like, fuck, nigga. I don't want to get these motherfucking shoes popping, nigga. This shit about to go viral. Hey, Cooley, nigga, we about to, we about oh, to yeah. film, nigga. He we like, seem to come together. Yeah. Yeah, the nigga Cooley was like, nigga, I was like, nigga, we going to film, nigga. You, we, we filming on the phone, nigga. Fuck Cooley's, it. Cooley's it seems like he's about it. He's like, let's go. I got you. Yeah, that's right. my nigga. Yo. That's, yeah. that's my coach. If it wasn't for him and Dane, 
I swear to God, like I wouldn't even be where I'm at right now. Like as far as like psyched on skating, like they those those are my brothers, yeah. It's beautiful. And Cooley was like, "Fuck it, nigga, I film you, nigga." Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, we pulled the Mozzie up on Hollywood Boulevard, nigga. Had Method Man playing, had the vibes going. Yeah. Nigga strapped up so the motherfucking good. Virgil Nikes, nigga. And nigga, I'm like, no, nah, film it like this, nigga, film it from the side. And then no, nah, nigga, we gotta get. And we just we just both learned how to just get back in the groove and right. I ain't even gonna front. I have never filmed with a fucking camera since, yo. I film everything <laughs> on the phone, phone and right? I only let yep. Cooley, I only let Cooley and maybe my nigga Mullet film. But like if you ain't squad, like nah yo. He made magic nah. happen, bro. Yeah, right there on man. Hollywood Boulevard, yeah. bro. With, with Method Man. Yeah, with the stars <laughs> and shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So that. that like really sparked a lot of shit. And then you know I just was like I heard Kelly Bird work at Nike and shit. And I said, oh shit. The Birdman at Nike? Oh, shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I reached out to Kelly and it was like, yo, man, can you, you know what I'm saying? Throw a young nigga pair pair of them things. Right. And um he been hooking me up and shit. It's pretty dope. Amazing. Nice. Dope. Hell yeah. Hey, you're out there yeah. doing it, man. Shout out to Kelly Bird. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Kelly, man. He always grease the skaters pockets with some real shit yeah, definitely man he's been yeah, a real exactly. one for the longest for the longest icon. yeah yeah icon yeah mm-hmm. yeah he responsible for like a lot in my career too so you yeah. know i haven't talked to him in a while but when i heard he was at nike i was like damn that's the only nigga i need to talk to right i get a yes or no answer from him he's and official. i'll be fine yeah. with that yeah yo. but he was official he sent me some hot shit oh, every yeah. time definitely. every time he sent me a box i throw them shits on and amazing you know what i'm saying I'm doing my thing with them shits. I love yeah, it, we're bro. Just happy to yeah. see this. Shit, happy bro. to see it. Yeah. Love it. Um, I, I really want to. We we pulled some clips, Stevie. You know, we sure. wanted we wanted to deep dive into some old into clips. Your career, yeah. yeah, yeah. We wanted to get some uh, <laughs> some <laughs> background. Yeah, 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 uh-oh. Don't pull up no shit and be fighting now. No, 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 no. no. This is all this is praise all... duty. <laughs> listen, yeah. we, <laughs> listen yeah. we could do a six hour episode on your on your clips. Facts, oh facts, yeah. Facts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we pulled facts. some of the best stuff that we we were, you know, we all right. watched it. We were like, let's let's get hey, his It was his hard. Impact. It was hard to choose just 20 oh clips we had God. like there was like endless Damn, amount of clips 20. yeah we, t- we, t- we pulled the size we pu- yeah. we, right, we, what y'all got what y'all need me to do well <laughs> listen we got here, here's here's some clips right here we got roger's gonna right. switch it over to that camera oh here. i know what that is yes oh yeah <laughs> this is a chocolate commercial that's that boy chocolate yeah. commercial back in the day mm. Ooh. yeah what you want to know about that everything <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> how you want to know about that that's we was skating all day and shit in new york and Somehow we end up at the fucking seaport ledges or something. No, not the seaport ledges. Like on the other side of New York, like the pier. Mm-hmm. We just skating, and um, I was like, "Yo, let's get this line real quick." And uh, you know, that's how it is when we on a move and shit. Yeah. Everybody yeah. was just like kind of tired from pushing twenty blocks and shit. And then I'm like, "Oh, I got a line. I want to try." I was. I didn't even. I, I didn't even know I was going to do switch back tail. So I just tried it. Oh, really? I, it. I love that. Yeah, full and freestyle, then, and then he yeah, just freestyling, and then, then nigga, it was a rap. We just went to the next spot. I feel I actually like actually forgot I did that line until that line came out in four one one. Oh, really? It's the best. Wow, dude, that I was, was just gunning. Like I was like, nigga, I'm gunning. I yeah. I feel like, and I could be totally wrong, but just listening to you talk right there, I feel like a lot of your you know quote unquote marathon lines. Mm-hmm. It's it's just freestyle towards the it's end. Freestyle, yeah. It's just you, yeah, you, it's you do nollie yeah. hard flip, you do you know switch pop yeah. reverb. You you just going yeah, with like the flow. Yeah, like repetitive repetitive mm-hmm. tricks. You going yeah. with the flow, and which, yeah, which are some flow. of the best flat ground tricks ever uh, done. Yeah, bro. By yeah. the way, pretty dope. Yeah, I mean, that. dude, on that clip, we, dude, it's money. I know it sounds weird. You just grab your nuts, and it's like that. Like for that was weird enough. That was like monumental in skating. Yeah, that's oh, right. yeah. Yeah. That, was like, that was a part that of that. Was it, some right? shit yeah. that niggas just do on the strength. Like, yeah, nigga, you know what time it is. Yeah. 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 Lit, nigga, let's go. That's yeah. Definitely. And my homie, my homie, my well, my ex homie is in the background and shit. He like, damn. I'm like, yeah, nigga, let's go. We about to do this. <laughs> I mean, after that, after you that, know? nolly hard, you're like, oh, okay. fakey. Oh, I'm sorry, fakey, fakey hard, fakey. It's just kind of. Just you know, the street shit, you know, yeah. you're skateboarding, we from the street. So mm-hmm. you do something dope, it just it feels good. It feels oh, good, yeah, yeah, definitely. Here's yeah. another one. This is from the Chocolate Tour also. Love Park. Switch yeah. Tray was fucking insane. Switch Tray. I'm so bummed yeah. I never really got to skate Love Park. I I went there wow. once at night on a tour and cops came right away. Yeah, and sucks. it was just wow. Yeah. Never This line was dope. I was super hungry. I, I wanted to show 
this is the first time I showed the switch tray flip, regular tray flip. Uh, wait, did I do a regular tray flip in there? No, no not in this one. Oh, I wanted, yeah. oh no, oh, this is the line now I wanted to Kevin purposely in. turn around in my line. Mm. Oh. Some people like Hell yeah. Some people do like switch back. So they like, I wanted to like purposely turn around and show right. people that. Like you know, the yeah, skateboard is where sometimes you don't know which way you scoot. Yeah, it's just, just like the turn around, <laughs> like boop. All right, now nigga about to hit it this way. <laughs> sure, right. Watch this front side no slide from flat. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas wasn't hitting that ledge from flat like that. Right. So, hey, to be honest, I don't I think anyone, show, like, no one ever did except for you. I feel like I never saw any footage except for you skating that ledge. Few people, few people. Yeah. Right? Mm. You know what I mean? They make the ads. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this one too. Uh, oh wow! Yeah, yeah. yeah Pierce, that's that's, Pierce that's the shit that got me paid right there. <laughs> that was the one. Yeah. Did, did that take a while? But I got a, I got a funny story for that one. So if you see like the people in the background after I like kind of land, mm -hmm. like right there, those people on, on the left. Oh okay. Those, those was like my best friends and shit. Like I was just out skating, oh. and my homegirl Rashida, my homegirl Jasmine was coming to meet me at, at, at the pier to go to Union Square afterwards. I'm skating the Air Force Ones and everything. Like, I'm just oh, what? not fucking That's around, amazing. but I'm still filming and shit. And then they was like, damn, nigga, hurry up. Like, <laughs> I'm like, fuck. But I'm like, yeah, I'm trying one of the illest tricks in the motherfucking world. But then at the same time, I'm like, oh, shit, I got my homegirls. And they was dope, too. Wow. Like, you know so what I'm saying? Good. In the background. And then that shit wound up actually being, like, one of the dopest clips of my career because... I was actually broke as shit. They was coming down there to fucking give me money so we could get on the bus to go to oh, <laughs> Wow. Yeah, well, that, that, like was last, that was the last that was that was the last trick. Was this on was your it. was this on your edit that you sent the chocolate or was this after that? Was my, that was on my sponsor material. Yeah. That was, wow. That's what I remember because I remember seeing this. I remember seeing this edit that yeah. you sent a lot over. Of my, a lot of my tricks from the sponsor me video yeah. actually made my actual part yeah. too. Gotcha. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. That was a phenomenal, dude. Yeah. I remember when this video came out, it was, yo, did you hear what Eric Costin did? And all he knows, know, like, you hear what Stevie Williams did? Switch Hill knows me on Feggy Tre or Feggy Harvey. Like, those were two things you heard. Mm -hmm. It was like, those were the, uh, I don't know. I, I, man, I was so high off life back then. I, was, <laughs> I couldn't even believe I was in the same video with Eric Costin. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the real, it was, it was different. I was like, you know, months before that, I was homeless you know what i'm saying crazy yeah. you've always been I mean, humble in that sense stevie bro you definitely you know what i'm saying you paved the way for yourself bro and and here you are man you definitely yeah, we had a long a lot of long conversations out you yeah. know i fought a lot of demons and and i came a long way to to to, to, to make rick howard and mike carroll proud of me yeah. sure, that was bro. that was that was what my whole intention was when they put me on chocolate was to let them know like regardless of the reputation that y'all know i had or heard about like from this opportunity, like I'm gonna turn this into something, like, and not even look back. And that was damn near twenty fucking years ago. And you've always yeah. shown that too, bro. Ever since you, you know, you you've moved on. You got yeah, to show back, yo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know what I'm yeah, saying? I you've always showed back. like you know nothing but respect for you know the past and what you know that they, you know they helped yeah. build for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, that shit meant a lot. You know, we were at the Eiffel Tower and shit. Niggas was wilding out at the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. Niggas super young, just crying and just feeling blessed, like. Ain't nobody showed me shit besides girl and chocolate. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, let alone take a nigga like me out the hood and take me around the world or, yeah. you know, hear about my fucking fucked up reputation before and still take a chance. Yeah. So yeah. only thing I could do is just promise them that I wasn't going to, like, let them down. Yeah. And I know I didn't. So yeah, you no. definitely did not. You know? no. so that's the same dedication percent. I got with my kids and shit and my family. My mom is just really showed me like what type of man I could be mm -hmm. opposed to what type of little boy I was like being and shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. Especially now being older, it's like, damn, I couldn't even imagine my kids oh my God, making man. the decisions that I had to make. So yeah. I made it I made it for them and a bunch of other people. Same. And I, I definitely think Rick Rick and Rick and Mike for that. Lee Smith too. Mm. Sam. Mm -hmm. And I was telling Paulo this yesterday, Gabe, Guy, mm -hmm. Chico, Tony, like a lot of those dudes really like put the word, put they, they word on the line for me. Definitely. And I didn't want to let none of them niggas down. You too, Doug. We go back, nigga, 20-something years Hell and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. I so, remember coming up to 
uh, yeah, Philly and coming to love day, and yeah, yeah. You, 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 you was like you was grounded and you couldn't come niggas. you know to the to the park and shit. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, wow. yeah. I stayed in I stayed in trouble. He yeah, was like thirteen trouble, years old, like, thirteen, fourteen. My mom years old. was no joke. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow, crazy. Yeah, I got locked up and shit. And my mom was having that shit. Wow. Now we like, twenty seven. We twenty seven years in right now, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, twenty seven years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy, bro. Yeah, came a long way. Yeah, beautiful thing. So my job is to make you know what I'm saying. My my homie's proud mm. enough to, you know, see how far I came and then, you know what I'm saying? My obligation is to like definitely share and give that shit back to the to the youth and shit. And that's what we do with Save by Skateboard. And like mm-hmm. ain't nothing better else to do other than skate and give back and make hella money and smoke weed and shit. That's <laughs> yeah. what fucking life was about. That's, that's it. it. That's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Here's another yeah. uh I need to get my I need to get my heart flips back up. Oh, this line is smoking. Yeah, <laughs> From, uh, it's official right here. Yeah, Steve. Uh, this yeah. is this is that trip that we went out to the Barcelona together. Yeah, for, you was on that trip, Philly, right? Yeah, yeah. and I, I remember you filming this line, and I'm like, "What are you gonna do at the end?" You're like, "I don't know. I'll just figure it out." And you just <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Like you just fake you healed the I'm Like what? You did a first trial. Yeah, like, I didn't what? even know. I just needed to get past that. What was that? Oh yeah, I needed to get past this Nolly half. No, half half. I love this. And shit. I was like, all right, what the fuck am I gonna do? What I'm gonna do? All right, shit, fucking Fakey Hill flip. <laughs> I mean, Fakey Hill, that it's the I most mean, awkward trick too. Yeah. Like, to, but like, to if, throw if you see there. these lines, I did two lines like this. If you see these lines, they more like combo lines. I wanted to show combos like Nolly backside hill flip, switch hill flip, switch back on eighty. Nolly half cap hill flip type mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, we got this. And the other this one, one is too, Nolly, the, uh, Nolly half cap hill flip. Yeah, this one right here, huh? This one, yeah, right? Switch yeah. backs eighty hill flip. Boom. Yeah, yeah, three sixty flip. I yeah, love this. It's like com- it's like combos. Then, then the the hill flip and front side flip. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do after I get over this, but it's only three stairs. I better land something. something. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I didn't got this motherfucking far. I, I didn't got, got to got to. three steps. I better do it. Yeah. Oh, but it's like the that. flow and the, and the rhythm of this those two lines that I wanted to do for myself because that's how I seen it in my head. So. Mm. And I started filming it. It was like, oh, I want to do it this way too. Yeah. But it's more just like back to back combos. Nolly half cap hill flip, switch backside hill flip. Right. Yeah. Nolly backside hill flip, switch hill flip. Like that little turn right they there. They flow sick. like on some. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Hey, with the hill and shit. Yeah. Absolutely. It's like I'll be studying my lines too, so I know like what I want to do. Mm. Like like after, so I know like how to flow it and how many tricks supposed to go in this type of line. So mm. it's in, like that, in that in that period of whatever you're skating, right? In that period in that of sequence, time. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it'd sure. be like maybe 15, 17 seconds, maybe nineteen seconds. So right, and those type of like seconds, what are you doing? And then also like how many pushes? So it'd be like two to maybe three push. Right. So when you edit it to the when you edit it to the music, like the way that the bar count goes from like one, two, three, four, those two pushes or the way that you land will like kind of catch catch the beat interesting yeah. so you were really thinking about the music too yeah i'll be or... thinking about all of that shit. Wow. i think about the music i think about the timing like wow how, how they going to edit it and like like i don't want like it's weird i'm a weirdo that's crazy that all i'm thinking about is don't fuck up just don't fuck up <laughs> but dude that's oh yeah you be out there just Chris, you out there just rifling shit off and shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that, but you know. Yeah, no, but like when I do lines, because I, I watch them so much and I study them and study other other people's lines too, mm-hmm. that like when I put music to shit, it, it catches in a way where, you know, it's rhythm. So we land on beat, we push on beat. And the beat count is from one to four, depending on the melody and shit. I mean, now that I'm so, watching them you know, with you saying that, I, I'm seeing it, yeah. even without music. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah I, I see Yeah, you what could you're like watch the count. Sure. And shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, so sometimes I know what song to put, and sometimes I know, like, nigga, don't put no dumbass music to my part. <laughs> it's not going to make, it's not going to make my shit come out dope. Like certain yeah. music is for certain people's style. Exactly. And how yeah. they push. Did you, right. did and, you choose you know, the song from The Reason? Or no, no, because that song went really well. I felt like. Oh, what song was it? Um, yeah, I honestly don't remember the don't name remember. of the song, but mm-hmm. it was like all the the marathon lines, all the whole footage looks so good with this, because this is the this, the part right here. Yeah, this is from the reason, right? Yeah, here. I mean, it's it's easier to when you're an editor, you know, like yeah. you look at it on Final Cut, you can kind of like tell where to put the music at. Yeah, I learned that from our filmer 
Brad from DGK, we skate and then watch footage all night, put different music to footage and mm -hmm. see what goes well. And after a while, you just start to understand what music fits well for your type of skating. You know what I mean? Was, what was the process of filming this line right here, dude? Like, cause this was like one of the best marathon lines ever. Was there, was this planned out in any way or was it freestyled after a certain point? No, that was planned. Uh, it was freestyled after the switch show flip. Oh, but if you okay. notice, ain't no, if you notice, ain't nobody skating in the background though. I mm. had that shit all to myself. Oh, yeah, There's mad people there. But nigga, if you'd have fucked up this line at this time, you'd probably got <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> it's like, yeah, move, move aside. Like, ain't Make nobody sure skating. You get the like, fuck if you look the at the, if you look at the whole, if you look at the whole line, ain't nobody skating in love. But it's mad people in the background, right? And then once That's my line amazing. is over, then people can skate and shit. But at that time, it was like, <laughs> so don't good. fuck. I love like, it. You can't don't fuck, fuck his shit, shit like, up, yeah. please. Well, that's what I'm saying. After, yeah. I mean, Kayla said it like that. Kayla, Kayla mm, said it like that too. It sure. wasn't just me, but. Even the homeless people knew, like, oh, them niggas out there working, they skating, you know? That's so good. It's just, it's a, it's a level of respect that we had in Philly, yeah. Mm -hmm. We earned that shit. This one, too, this is the the switch front nose. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Wow. That was that nigga Blayback pressuring me for a fucking trick. He used to come to Philly all the time. <laughs> oh, really? That was it? He wanted to, he wanted to yeah. still I used image, to be huh? just, Got I it. used to be just kicked. Hey, Dub, you know, niggas used to come to Philly and they'd be like, where's Stevie at? Like, oh, that nigga. <laughs> you gotta find him. You gotta find him, but I pop up and, and pop some shit out and then oh, pop easy. right back in the hood and shit. Easy. <laughs> but that was Blayback that came to the city on some DC shit. Okay. It was like, yo, they fucking telling me we need the photo. And I'm like, all right, well, nigga, let me use your phone. He, he, he was the first nigga I knew that had a cell phone and shit. So I was like, all right, nigga, let me call one of these little girls I know and shit. And I'll do the trick. Like, I used to. Okay. You know, just finessing this shit. I love it. Man. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I love it man. That nigga Blayback had a sprint phone and shit. They was calling hella people like I was balling and shit. Like, y'all do the trick if you let me use your phone and shit. Right when cell phones just came right, out. Right, right. Yeah, but that, that ad wound up being dope though, too. So Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know, it's a story behind everything, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, why that's why we love breaking these clips down too. And this yeah. is the hard flip front nose with uh with Josh and the Looked a little lazy. Yeah, I, Ty had came to Philly on some shit, and we was just skating. And I was like, "Oh yeah, I got some tricks I want to do." He's like, oh, "Yeah, we doing the transfer part." I'm like, "All right, cool. Let me get some tricks." <laughs> and um, Josh was like, "You should hard flip front nose this." And I was like, "Damn, man, I don't feel like fucking doing that shit." Okay. I was like, "Fuck it, I'll try it." And damn, I did it in like four tries or some shit. Wow. And that's why he was like, "That shit looked kind of lazy." Right. I really was. I really was not even really trying to do it. It got in. It slid. I came off that yeah, shit. Yeah, you rolled out that. It was so I was perfect. A, it was a wrap. Yeah. Like, I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, and that's how, like, you know, I pray, like, damn near every night. You know what I'm saying? And some of those things be really coming from, you know, the metaphysical world, I think, because sometimes tricks just be coming, and mm -hmm. I'll be landing them, and I'll be rolling away like, damn, did I just roll away? Oh, shit, <laughs> so, it's the best feeling ever. You know what I mean? So I feel, I feel very blessed to have a God-given talent that, uh, that I could, you know, still explore and, and and actually look at shit and be like, damn, yo, I'm impressed that I did some shit like that. <laughs> I mean, because I'm a yeah. skate fan too. You yeah, know I mean? for Definitely. sure. It's like magicals, you know. Yeah, man. Uh, here's here's shit, a line. Man. That's why you gotta, you know, you gotta practice. Yeah, man. This line, I, this. Oh, you like that? I, Hell I, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. <laughs> This yeah. that Ooh. oh my god that was some shit that um the night before that I was I was high as shit somewhere I forget <laughs> where I was at I was super high though somewhere we was at we was watching the, the Plan B video virtual reality oh. and uh, Danny Way had did that shit over the hip at the mm -hmm. SF contest regular mm -hmm. and I was like oh shit I'm gonna try that shit switch tomorrow right and then oh, Fat Bill that. was like you want to film something I was like yeah let me film some shit. I didn't even want to do the front side flip switch manual on that shit because I kind of did it from the cheating way. So? But I was just about to ask. <laughs> that. so, oh, you picked the fuck out that. I didn't oh, yeah. care but, yeah. about how you did that yeah. real shit. It was just, yeah. I think it's you know, harder. I feel like I could do, I feel like I could do better. I, you know, I like to do hard, the hard, I like to go the hard way. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, but um, I was fresh, dude. It was dope. It Seriously. Was super dope. So yeah, good. no, when the, when the shit came out in the DC video, I definitely didn't regret doing the line. Right. I didn't think that that trick was going to be that impactful, but when 
I mean, when I see other kids trying it in front of my face and shit, I think it was me, a collective like, though, obviously too. With everything so. else. <laughs> Look at that! Come on, bro. There should have been I a trash the, can. I would have took the right front there. side flip switch manual by itself, but then oh, yeah. you topped yeah. it off with this shit. It's just like, damn. All right. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, I think yeah. the one that I did over the over the table was better though. We got that one too. Yeah. We got that one. But too. that right there literally was the first one I've ever done in my life. No way. That was the first one. Yeah, I never did it before. I would I, like we. I filmed. And try tricks at the same time. <laughs> That's That's I so feel bad. sorry for the filmer sometimes. I'd be, I was like, "Yo, let's do this trick." And they were like, "Can you do it?" Like, nigga, I don't know if I can do it. We are gonna find out together, though, nigga. I love, I love that after you land that, cause you're like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over there." I don't know what, I, like, yeah, you don't follow me. Do. <laughs> yeah, just follow me. Yeah, fuck it. It was freestyling after that. Yeah, I love this that. This is the uh, the one over the table. Yeah, yeah, oh. That's, that was legit. Mm -hmm. And I got a funny story for that one. I was fucking hung over. Oh, were you? I was drunk as fuck. Like, still, it was me, me and Javier. We were skating. We used to skate Lockwood all the time. We used to go out. I was fucked up. I was. I remember. I was throwing up like on the Ooh. side. Oh damn! While and trying, we, we got to get this sequence. And I was like, "Fuck, I'm fucked up." And but I ain't even gonna front. I don't even remember landing this shit. Okay. <laughs> That's amazing you say that. Cause sometimes people when like, I mean, I seen Eric, prime example, like mm. just be shit hammered before a contest and then just come out and win the contest. So, I mean, look, those things happen. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You yeah, get fucked happened, up the yeah. night before. Just you get, feeling you're like looser. Shit. You're not thinking. Yeah. yeah I don't, cloudy, not whatever it is. I really don't even remember totally. landing this. That's amazing. Like, I literally don't even remember rolling away. Like, I'm looking at the footage like, damn, I did that. Like, I don't even remember what you're doing. <laughs> That's like the only thing I remember from this day is throwing up. <laughs> That's the best. Like, not only did you get the clip out here doing this stupid ass fucking trick. Yeah. I'm fucking. I was pissed, but obviously I rolled away. So oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, rolled away good. Not yeah, only did you sorry. get the clip, you got the last trick in your part at the same time. Amazing. Like yeah. ultimate come up. Well, Greg Hunt put that part together. That, that it, it, I didn't want that to be my last trick, but mm. you know, it's whatever. No, that was okay. amazing. Well, yeah, and not to mention I didn't own DC, so I was just getting a check. Whatever work. This is uh, you. Think. You really, you really did one. You really fucked the courthouse up. Oh man, you really did. Uh, yeah, you, you put a beating on it. Yeah, I think which is amazing. Yeah, because I think there's only a few I people. A still, still yeah, there's only tough rain. There's like, only a few people up. that really kind of went in on this stage. Yeah, mm -hmm. in know? the early in the early ages. Yeah, right? totally, yeah. totally. Yeah. Now kids Not are like tray that, flip though. nose wheeling, but you know what I yeah, mean. Yeah, like, I don't know what the hell Kelly was smoking before he did it. <laughs> 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 Kelly was on some PCP or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Angel dust. He didn't hop oh, over that bro. motherfucker. <laughs> Kelly, I'm Kelly like, done did it on that shit. <laughs> done did it. Up. Yeah, Kelly oh. did it. You get the crown. You and oh. Nick Tucker get the crown. Yo. Oh, Nick Tucker did his thing too, man. So y'all niggas wasn't fucking with us back then on this stuff. Stevie, yeah. I, I put my work in on the. the yeah. <laughs> I did. Chris yeah, you did, did too. 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 That's what I said. That's why I said us. Okay. That's okay. why I said Chris. Okay. They wasn't okay. fucking with us. They back weren't then. exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no, but hey, let me tell you what happened though. Like. The switch, the switch hill flip, right? Oh yeah, we got that the too. The switch hill flip manual. I was trying that shit all day, and the nigga Ray Barbie popped up. I said, Ooh. "Oh shit, Ray Barbie here! Fuck, I gotta get this shit done. That's that's the nigga right there." Wow. What? And then I did it, and I was like, "Fuck that! That nigga's still here. I'm about to do another one." And then I did this one, the switch back snowy nose mount. If you peek, Damn. the switch hill flip manual and the switch back snowy nose mount, the same kid is in the background. Oh yeah! Wow. I did that shit like third try. I was super Wait, psyched. I'm like, to, oh damn. shit! I'm trying to find the switch heel right here. Is this? Yeah. Yeah. This, here it is. See the kid right there in the yeah. background? Oh, yeah. That's then, tight. He was probably trying tricks then, off the stage, huh? Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's and then, fucking then he's on the, then he had to switch back so he knows manual too. Man. And like Ray Barbie is like right on the side. Wow. Uh, he, I think he watched both of them. I was psyched. Like, that was like the highlight. So the energy brought it out right there, huh? Oh, and were you about to try a line yeah. right there? Did you try something into the fountain? Hell no. Nah. It's no? over with. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's that. That's that turnaround to let you know that shit was switched. That's yeah. Like, yeah. Hell that's yeah! The devil's in the details, yes. my brother. Yes, yes. Yeah. I think we did talk about this one um, on on your episode. I think the switch pop shove it, and like you yeah, point at the bet. camera. Yeah, it was a bet. Oh, it was a bet. Well, you know, we be battling and shit. Like, gotcha. with the board, like what was it's the like bet? three or four oh, people skating at one time and shit. Okay, I forget what it was, but it was like. Yeah, nigga, I did it, nigga. <laughs> you better pay up. Yeah, pay up. I think it might have been Hob or Marcus or somebody. I don't know. Maybe I Jack or something. I don't know. We all skated together. So I had so much fun that you don't see 
how it starts. You just see the clip, but yeah. it'd be like we'd be smoking, cracking Joe. You know how skating is. The stories oh, are man. the best behind it. Hobbs, you know Hobbs, the best. Yeah, he's, he's Hobbs, yeah, yeah, Hobbs is, he'll yeah, keep it going. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah, that's my dog. Me um, and Hobbs been skating together since we was like ten and twelve. So mm-hmm. sick. Here's wow. Old. Yeah. Um, Hobbs, dude, Hobbs just pulled up at the, uh, what is it, the, uh, I always say Beebles, but the, the Nike fucking park and just pulled a dope ass line enough. the other day. I was like, get yeah. him, Hobbs. Yeah. Where did we, I didn't I, see I it. Y'all be on that nigga top, yeah. We yeah, all he got a little line. There, huh. Yeah, the Hobbs is sick, yo. I'll so tell Hobbs, yeah. go check his Instagram. Yeah, that's my brother, yeah, for sure. Uh, we got this clip, too. Lockwood, Hard Flip mm-hmm. Manny. Yeah, that was a whack. You didn't like that one? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I didn't like that one. Why not? It was a filler, though. Really? It was okay. Cool. It was, it was all right. Yeah, he did it perfect, perfect, man. It was it was beautiful. Yeah, that was filler. Yeah. I told myself, "What up?" Yeah, that was it. Was all right. It was all right. It was okay. I felt like I could have did something better. That was just too easy. Oh man, this one is always a good clip, <laughs> Stevie. Always the, the Brooklyn Ooh. Banks oh, yeah, trade. Yeah, that mm-hmm. one's sick. So yeah. sick. Yeah. When yeah. you skate in that place, you gotta fucking you gotta you gotta let it be known like you that nigga. Man. Brooklyn Banks, man. That's yeah, so switch Trey. Switch Trey into that was like something on some East Coast shit. Like being an East Coast skater, you just want to do the dopest, coolest, hardest shit ever. Yeah, like yeah. I was telling Henry Sanchez the other day, like I, like even still to this day, I feel like I'm like the black Henry Sanchez. And I try to like live up to that, but yeah. on my own shit. I love it. So just doing hard, dope tricks and instead of taking the easy way out, like I want to be the nigga knowing that that did it the hard way and shit. Like that was Switch Trey, pretty much. Like it felt dope. I, I, I really liked that one. Henry yeah, Sanchez man. was the dude in, in uh, Tim and Henry's Pack of Lies. Like I, I didn't even understand, when I was a kid, I didn't even understand half the tricks he was doing. Bro. Like yeah. that's how yeah, I great. Still, I still watch that, yeah. I still he's, talk to him, that's my dog. He's, he's top five dude. for me, that's real shit. Five, you know? Like, he's he's number that one for me. Yeah, that's, um, that's, that's, so it, it you're, doing, you're doing a project with him? Are you doing it like um, a, I'm No, I don't like. We just just you like a guest product. board type deal. Yeah, like, guest you, type of situation. Yeah, that's yeah. dope. That's mm-hmm. dope. Hell yeah, I love that. Mm-hmm. Here's another one here. I hope you don't mind. This is uh, this is really fun for us. Oh yeah, I was broken shit there. So I had a broken hand and shit. Oh really? That was oh, hood. Shit. That was hood, Stevie, right oh, yeah, there. That's that's broken. the nigga that Josh saved. Oh wow! Wow! This yeah. shit right here. Yo, that hard flip, the hard flip. The hard that flip. was that was a different hard flip than what yeah. I normally seen. That was the real hard flip right there. <sighs> that, would hit, the that would hit. That hit different right yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, whoa! That was like, that I was, was the way um, you do it. I was still in. I was still getting in trouble back then. That Look was at like that. that's old school. That's that's the Stevie Josh save right there. Wow! Amazing. Get fighting all the time and just doing a bunch of shit, getting locked up and. Wow, that's that, that's 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 before anything. I was just on a trip to New York with Josh. Amazing. Oh, sick. Just because I kept getting in trouble and shit. I had a broken hand from fucking fighting and shit. Damn, Damn. you come a long yeah, way, like, Steve. You come a long know. way, my brother. That's that Bam. That's that's Bam. That's that spot, Bam. I didn't even know I could do manual tray flip. I was like, oh shit, this shit hitting. But I could do hard flip though. <laughs> It's the best. <laughs> hey, you did it perfect. Uh, here, here's another clip, Stevie. Love this oh, yeah. one. Oh yeah! Wow. Mm. Yeah, that Man. that came out cool. I did a better one in Spain, but mm. that was cool. There's I had to shoot a DGK ad, and that was the first time I shot with my homie Matt Daughters. So. Oh yeah, Matt Daughters. Mm-hmm. He yeah, had just signed a DGK, and um, I just you know just pulled it. He was my playback. Yeah. So man. I wanted to make sure I shot everything in my power with him so we could make everything great. And Definitely. that was probably 10 years ago, 12 years ago. Damn. Yeah. That's my dog. This, though, the Switch Crook. Yeah. That was right when I got on Chocolate. That was way ahead Aaron, of time, Aaron, man. Aaron, Aaron filmed that. Amazing. Oh, Mesa? What are those? Yeah, are those the DVS Chefies? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah they are. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You yeah. were getting, yeah, getting some shoes. I was like, I, I didn't even know I could skate the top of that shit, though. And I just was like so hungry that I'm like, fuck that. I'm, I'm doing this, yo. <laughs> that thing's and, uh, tall, too. Hell yeah. I was skating with Marcus, and Marcus was like, yeah, you could do that shit, yo. You could do that shit. You could do that shit. I was like, I could do that shit. I did that shit. That shit is tall. Marcus is my nigga, yo. That's like, you know, 
Dubs know we all Hell like yeah. you know, Marcus, man. Marcus, my dog. He he was he out was here not that long ago, ago, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He pushed he, he pushed me a lot to like when I was homeless and fucked up and he that's my big brother, like my oh, my, that's my dog, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell so he was there and he skated with me and, and when you skate with Mesa at that time, like you better get busy. <laughs> you know, don't half ass. Aaron Mesa. I'm F- throwing shit out there like Mesa, like, you sure you can do this? Mark is like, you could do it, you could do it. I'm like, yeah, I could do this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I did it though. Mesa, at first I was trying it the other way. And oh. then Mesa was like, no, you should do it this way. Oh, you were trying it from so going the like opposite that. direction. Mm. Yeah, the opposite way. Gotcha. Yeah. So that ledge, the Miami, Miami ledge. Yeah, man. Yeah, niggas wasn't fucking with this one either. I feel like you're the only one I've seen footage on that one. It's like Maybe. we was like, we was just skating the, we was just skating in the the university and we just came upon these ledges and wow. I was like damn if this is lit y'all can skate this shit and that ground that's looks a beautiful trick, one trick led to another and and then another and then another and then <laughs> <laughs> it was a wrap this one too one place to skate yeah that Ooh. one right there was that was. The way you came out of that, Stevie, was like it is one solid, so good. Yeah, one solid motion. Meant to be like that, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, God is great, yo. Wow, is great. Because I literally was trying to switch your back tail. Yeah, and we went to that. And playback was like, you want to redo it? I was like, fuck (laughs) though. That That was perfect. I was buttery. I'm gonna redo that for it. Five o backs and tail slide, nigga. I don't know. It's done though, nigga. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> you know motherfuckers will take shit. Nigga, we Come on. Miami, nigga. You talking about staying here for another hour, nigga? I'm going to Miami, nigga. I something. love it. I love it, man. We just got a couple That's more. Like skate, skate trips that expose you to life, yo. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. This was this was um, my first DGK ad. Yeah. Yeah, man. So I had, to, I had to do something that was, you know, in my nature and something I never did before. And I had to actually do that twice. Oh, there are oh, two different one. Those are two oh. different clips. It's two different. I don't know if it's Damn. two different clips, but I had to. I had to oh, I, 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 I filmed it once and then I shot it again, like Blayback filmed it, and then I think Greg filmed it and then Blayback shot it. Oh, oh I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Amazing. But it came out like super similar too. It's like wow. Perfect. That's awesome. Man. I was psyched. Yeah. All right. So Nobody good. was doing that at that time too. Nah, so it was pretty not at all. I mean, like leg- that stands the test of time. That shit's still fucking it's, like that's a legendary spot, too, up, man. Yeah, man. Going yeah, up that switch. was that was dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I forgot I even did that shit too till y'all pulled that this up. Is, uh, <laughs> okay. Going what, down memory lane, man. What about all these table clips? This shit was like that's the day whoa. I got on chocolate. Those that's the day. That's that's the day this is when you got on. Yeah, that board right there. Yeah, that, mm. that same board. It's all the same board. Like that guy Mariano board. Yeah, and then that that um that was all guy Mariano boards actually, but. In Red Indies, I was skate. I was staying at um, Damn. Julio De La Cruz's crib, Julio and Kelly Bird was giving me. Amazing. I was getting DCs and DVSs at the same time. <laughs> Double dipping. I was hungry, shit. If niggas wasn't putting me on. I wasn't gonna sell them up for real. <laughs> real shit, real shit. But um, uh, they they all actually came out dope. Like just skating the tables and and thinking about Keenan and mm. Paulo and. Being on girl and chocolate, that whole family was like, I could skate the tables too. But yeah, when I did the switch five o backs and eighty out, I knew nobody ever did that on the table, so right. I wanted to shut that down. Hell yeah, damn! So nobody good. ever did that trick, period. Mm. And then mm. I wanted to do it on the table because you know once you learn a trick and you do it on LA table, right, nigga, Certified. it's a wrap. Yeah. 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 stamp. Mm-hmm. Especially that- at Lockwood. Yeah, the photos too, man. That was the chocolate ad too, right? The mm-hmm. yeah, that was my chocolate ad, and the other one was my checkout. Okay, mm-hmm. but I was hot though. I mean, they, you know, Rick Howard gave me the green light to tell the filmers to film me. Right, like, long as I wasn't filming no bullshit. Yeah, you know, I was on a roll. Yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to get turned pro. And it happened soon after. Hell yeah, yeah. Rex. Man. Well, like I said, Stevie, we could sit here for hours upon hours going Straight over your up. old clips. We, nice. it was just hard enough pulling these couple clips together. We were like t- debating whether <laughs> what, what to put in. They were there like, "Wow, more, there's is, way more clips." Too. Oh my god! You should have put the switch five o switch tray in there. I just did that. 
That's recent. The switch. I know the. We yes, should. We should have. We should have gone through that. That's twenty twenty yeah. though. That's that's twenty twenty. Yeah. That's, that's some new shit. That's new shit. That's some new shit. I mean, I've been skating though. I got some. I got some. I got some shit. I've been. I've been skating. We see you. Oh, we, 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 we see you. you. <laughs> now, here, <here's laughs> a now, are you actually? Are you just filming Instagram clips at the moment, or are yeah, you I'm trying just Instagram clips? Nah, so, I ain't doing shit. No, that's no, the whole way of doing things. Nah, no part. No part. Have you like why, put, why, put, why put all the part, yo? You can put all that shit, not for nothing. You put all that shit together and yeah, make a part. That's true. That's like, that'd be cool I to am, watch. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll do what the fuck I want to do. A, I, as, as, you should. Should. <laughs> as you should. As you should. <laughs> if I'm going to put some shit out, hopefully they, they will respect it. But nowadays you could put some shit out uh, in the whole world to see. And why wait? Why wait for right. a nigga like me? You can see it right now. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't need no debut. I didn't debut about a million times. Yo. I could, sure. just, okay. I could just come out the house and just, you know, here goes some footage, whether it's the dopest shit or, you know, not so much of the dopest shit, but at least it shows that I'm still dedicated on the board and shit. Totally. Okay. And okay. I think we've all been there, you know, working on a part for two, three years and that, that whole thing. Right. It's like, yeah, sure. Sure. I'm aware of shit. Just, yeah. yeah. I think yeah, I'm, a, I'm at the same point, Stevie, where it's like, if I could get pull out, put out a little Instagram clip here and there, my main thing is I just want to skate. Did. I see you. You see me? Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. I just yeah, want to, I just want to skate with the, with my friends. That's yeah. all. And have fun. And get paid. That's it. That's what it, that's what it all started about. It started that way. And then, you know, a job came along somewhere right. on the line. And, you know, they stole the joy away. Mm-hmm. But um, the joy is back in my life. I and, love it. And, and I'm not letting it go. I bottled it up and gave some of it to my son. And, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's, a, it's a blessing where I could just stop and just watch him and just be in love with the sport to say, mm-hmm. damn, this little dude is fucking, he's on it, you know. And then yeah. a, a lot of the little dudes that I'm around too, the next generation of dudes, like when I'm at Jaquan. Right. It really makes me feel like that I'm at like Love Park all over again, but in like a whole different like West Coast dimension. Mm-hmm. Dude. And it's my obligation to let these kids know firsthand by skating with them, communicating with them, vibing with them, that yo, y'all on the right path. You know what I'm saying? I chose this path 30 something fucking years ago. And if, if, if y'all do it correctly, y'all can end up like a nigga like me. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like real sure. true skater yo no nigga i ain't no rapper i ain't no i'm a gym dude now but i didn't get into anything anything else out of my career other than pushing my career forward as much as i can right without without staring somewhere else trying to do anything else Mm. like if anything niggas know i tried i spent millions of dollars i didn't create companies Mm. i didn't travel the world i didn't took my little homies around the world we didn't did it big we didn't did it small we give back we fucking, we appreciate, we're professional. And at the end of the day, it's like, the kids need to see that type of shit. Mm-hmm. They need to know like, yo, when you grow up, you can actually be something other than, you know, being a fucking dickhead. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, Absolutely. we all collectively represent that. And like I said, it's like, I feel like it's my obligation to show these little niggas and vibe with them. Like, yo, don't just look at me like I could be a Stevie Williams. like. That's yo, I actually know that nigga Stevie Williams, yo. Right. And I was That's just, a different thing, yo. I was just yeah, about to say thing. some of these kids that I look at, I'm like, you you don't you never know. I mean, this next this could kid could be the next big thing. You know, yeah. he could be the most famous skateboarder or, or, in the world. Nigga, or not. Or not. Or or not. Yeah. Right. Yeah, or not. Right. But who who are you as a human being though, yo? There you yeah. go. You there dig you what go. I'm saying? And in your character. Right. You dig right. what I'm saying? And a lot of times these kids don't understand that. They character be they demise. You we, know what I'm saying? And we just you know, talked about that. Yeah, I just brought yeah, that yeah. to the attention. Uh, was it last show or the couple one before? Shows ago. Show shows before. Ago, yeah. Where it's just like yeah. your your character is a big part of you. You know what I'm saying? It, so your if demise. you ain't, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so if you it. ain't if you ain't really on that shit, and, and, I blame, I blame and your the skateboarding is too. unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can sink your ship real quick. Right. Yeah, I I blame a lot of the team managers too with for the wrong character. Mm-hmm. And the demise of certain of these um, dope kids' mm-hmm. career that sh- go down the shit sh- shit toilet, sure, because sure. their team manager character is off mm-hmm. and maybe unfulfilled. And at the end of the day, he's like he's supposed to represent like a big homie that's that's pushing you to be the best professional and the most professional as possible, right? Yeah. But if he's out there pushing you to do the most dumbest, goofiest shit, your nutrition is off. 
your fucking communication is off. Only thing you know how to do is be a robot. It's like once they pull the plug on you, my nigga, you a rat. Yeah. So that emotionally, that stuff drains you. Depression comes, mm-hmm. worry, anxiety. Like a lot of that stuff comes from the lack of professionalism that, you know, I feel like sometimes it's my obligation to speak on the behalf of that type of shit. Mm-hmm. Right. Whether people like that shit or not, when you look at DGK, I don't give a fuck about the goofy niggas that quit or talk shit. But when you on DGK, like shit is in line, yo. Mm. It be the goofy niggas that don't want to be in line that think that they like bigger than the system. But nigga, COVID just hit, my nigga. You're not bigger than the system. Right. Mm-hmm. And everybody at DGK, if you look at us, we take shit pretty serious. We have fun. Mm. We do our thing. But like, I'm a pretty serious dude, yo. Sure. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm pretty serious. So when you get around me, a lot of that jokes and all of that shit don't really be that funny if you ain't doing your fucking job. Right. Damn. Like, I'll laugh at your jokes if you're doing your job. I don't give <laughs> yeah, a fuck right. if your job, if your jokes is funny and you're not doing your job, then you're getting a cold stare. Like, get the fuck out of here, dog. That shit ain't funny. Because <laughs> you left, you didn't left sit on the table. You expect me to fucking compensate or compromise with you for the lack of the shit that you're doing. That shit is not happening over here. That's true. It's just not happening, yo. Yeah. It's not happening, yo. Right. So everybody's in line. We know we all not perfect either. Mm-hmm. We just came from Miami. With, we put Chaz on the team. Me, Chaz, Dane, Cooley, Mullet. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's, a wild, that's a wild bunch right there. <laughs> 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 shit can happen. Yeah. The Dane one. almost drowned and shit like wow. that. But what? Collectively we can group together and be like, yo, we know what we're here for. Yo, sure. Let's finish our job. You right. know what I'm saying? Get it together. You need time to breathe. You need an hour or two to fucking get your fucking shit together. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, like that's how serious we take it. So I, w- I would like for people to take their career that serious, but I can't say that for everybody. So what we do sure. at DGK is kind of like, we kind of identify those type of people that really want to turn pro, that want to be professional, mm-hmm. that want to have a legacy. Mm-hmm. I want to be somebody and have a purpose and we represent that and give back yo, straight up. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it yeah. weeds itself out. Right. I mean, like you could, the old saying, you could lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Right. You're giving people that opportunity. And if they don't want to take that opportunity, there's a door, you yeah. know, there's yeah. another kid there that's thirsty. Yeah, enough I'm asking a horse before we even, before I even get that nigga to the water, <laughs> I'm asking that nigga, fan, you finna drink or what? Right. <laughs> <Yeah. Wait. laughs> right. Yes. Fuck all yeah. that shit. Like nigga, you I look thirsty that. nigga. Are you too pr- you too prideful to, to take a, th- a a sip when you, when nigga know you look thirsty and dehydrated? Right. I don't need to ask you. I don't need to ask you that question. Mm-hmm. But this is but it's on people like us to identify those type of horses that we want to invest into. Yeah. To when we get them to that water, we already know that they'll drink it. They'll be grateful mm-hmm. and they'll have some fucking integrity, like to take the next horse to the next fucking the water, not be selfish and. And, and 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 not share right you feel right, me like right. if i bring you to the water your obligation is to show the next thirsty nigga how to how to drink yeah you know what i'm saying yeah absolutely you know, i'm not going we're not doing that no more bringing goofy thirsty niggas to the water no more right. it's 2020 my nigga <laughs> fuck out of here dog like no nah, you don't deserve the water yo. you you get a mirage nigga <laughs> <It's> a mirage. <laughs> <laughs> it's there. Sahara, it ain't right there. The water? No. Yeah, there ain't no water there. You better Sahara Sahara right now. I'm on Sahara right now. You want some water, my nigga? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that shit might oh, fuck man. around and be a mirage. Nigga. Don't <laughs> oh, play around. Man. How bad you want it, nigga? Because it don't look like you want it that bad. Man. I love it, man. You're not wasting my trip, my money. Right. Getting over to the water. You know what I'm saying? Goodness. Man. I miss you, you know, bro. You know, man, we got to fool over here. We got to, man, I love it, though. We got to, we got to skate sometime soon, man. I'd be dead serious, though, with my shit, though. Y'all know. I know. Hell yeah. That shit sound funny, but I'll be dead serious, though, my nigga. No, yeah. for sure. But I'll for get sure. back, I'll get back on, um, I'll get back in like two days and shit. Like, I'm gonna bring my mom back and then yeah, well, I wanna do- come out to the beach and skate the curves with y'all and shit and, yeah. and fuck around and shit. Like, you really should. It's, yeah, it's fun. I should. I should. Yeah. I'm still yet. To get I see out y'all there. killing it and shit. Mike York out there. Shout out to Mike York. Yep. Mike York. Yeah, Mike Mike York. Song and take Day Wong Song and Tim Gavin uh, Curbs Alive. And shit. Dude. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. funny. Every time we're down there, somebody references Tim Gavin. Of They're course. like, Tim Gavin Curbs. Like, Tim Gavin. You gotta get like, Tim down there. Tim ain't going. He Hold up. Shout out to Tim, though, too, and my little nephew, Mason. Yes. Yeah. He's going to like that. That's my little dog. You know what I mean? My son and Mason is like friends and shit. Yeah, oh, Mason. Um, my son can't even believe Tim used to skate. 
He like Uncle Tim skated. I said, Yo, let me show a video. <laughs> yeah. And I put Tim and Henry's on for my for my son Paris, and he was like, What? He looked just like Mason. And I'm like, Yeah, well, Mason skate, nigga. You play ball. I don't think y'all gonna be hanging out that much. You know <laughs> Two different worlds right there. Yeah. Two different worlds. Like, but but to see Tim and to have our kids together yeah. and know each other, just knowing that we was all destined to just be in everybody's life, regardless mm-hmm. of if it was a skateboard or not. Like mm-hmm. y'all my brothers, man. I love y'all to fucking death, regardless Likewise. of like, yeah. any, yeah. any, yeah. any Likewise, without no money or no industry. Like we all share the same light and energy in this space. Mm-hmm. And it's enough space for all of us that's doing it the right way. Oh, you know yeah. Definitely, yeah, I'm sure big time, man. Yeah, I, I miss you, brother. brother. I, I know. You. I was just saying. Definitely. Yeah, I'll be back. I'm in Vegas right now, man. I'm about to go, you know, enjoy enjoy myself while I got the time. As you yeah, should. enjoy yourself. You know, have time with the fam. You know, happy Thanksgiving and all that stuff. Yes. You know what I mean? Right. Like, but I definitely. Think they changed the name. Did they change the name? What's the name? Well, I wanted to have me Indigenous Day or something. 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 Really? I think I don't think it's Thanksgiving no more. They're they're changed. They all to, to the to the Native Americans mm-hmm. and shit oh, like that. Okay. But we in 2020, or what it really means today is like right. you know, probably different from from the uh, society. But yeah. mm-hmm. I'm definitely thankful to have our industry being controlled and dominated by real ones like us that could speak the message and, and hold the culture tight. Because I'm okay. telling you, without us. These little motherfuckers is, is lost, yo. Man, like no I'm telling you, I'm out there in the field, yo. I'm not like yeah. on no comments, shit. I'm, <laughs> I'm talking and listening to these dudes and knowing what they don't know and telling them who they don't know about. Mm-hmm. And um, shout out to my little dude Leandre too. Like he killed it, turned yeah. pro. Hell yeah. In the COVID, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. For bright, mm-hmm. you know Hell what I'm saying? Yeah. Me and him have, me and him have a lot of deep conversations. That's my dude. It's a lot of rippers out there right now. That's going, I think, going to come up. With the with the true light of 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 skateboarding, opposed to what it was um, post COVID and shit, yeah. Well, let me ask you a question because that's interesting. Do people reach out to you on Instagram? Like, not not just reach out of like, hey, what's going on? But do they reach out for, uh, for you know, like, um, just your 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 uh, opinions and and you know thoughts and probably I don't know. You probably. don't really check your. No, no, you don't really no. check. You don't. People. I don't know. Yeah. There's probably a lot of people know. trying to hit him up. It's like how many? Actually, I don't think I don't think people like not really. To be honest with you, nobody really hits me up about that shit because I don't think mm-hmm. that they. There's two things. At the first, I don't think that they think that I that I know what I know, mm-hmm. and then the second thing, I think that I know too much and I might lose you. Okay. You know, so I have sure. to talk to I have to talk to y'all. I can't just talk to anybody. Right. Like I have to talk to a Jim Thebo. I have to talk to yeah, like a Mark man. Gonzalez. I right. have to talk to a Rick Howard, a Chris Roberts, a Jerron, a Barra, mm-hmm. Kelly Hart. You know what I'm saying? Even a Kelly Bird, a fucking yeah. Eric Ellington, a Jim Greco, a fucking I'd, Guy Mariano. I'd love like, to see you, know you and Jim Thebo's conversation. Super. Me and Jim could talk for hours. I, <laughs> I, yeah, I bet. I got the craziest fucking opinions about certain things that it could I can only ask certain people that came before me uh-huh. and I can't ask other people I have to ask solid people that actually I know been through certain shit sure like me and Jerron can talk for five, five days straight mm-hmm. same thing with me and Tim I talk to my brother Marcus all the time me and Cooley talk all the time it's like building you know what I'm saying where you kind of just want to see where you stand at and a lot of times regardless of the tricks that I've done and the impact that I've made like as a human being, I want to see what type of impact I made in my industry as a person. Mm-hmm. That goes a long way. That goes a long way, man. Yeah. Like Straight the up. character and our integrity for what we pride ourselves for. Like I have a lot. I have a lot of it, and and I'm very prideful of it. Right. And if you know me, you know that part. If you don't know that part, you might think like Steve is a little bit different. I mean, girls traveling, partying, like like I have a. I live a totally different life than people probably think I do. But if you really truly know me. You know, I'm more like a philosopher on like our industry and things and how things work and shit like that. You so, got you got good credit in this industry. Yeah, Let's see. Yeah. I, I was yeah. talking about that too. Like yeah. credit, credit. You know what I'm saying everything. like you go, you you're you're bound to carry good credit in in the real life. You know what I'm saying paying your bills and doing all that shit. You know the the normal structure in a sense. But then you have your character that has that as well. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So. That you know, well, I pride you, myself you keep, on yeah, that. You can, you've you been that guy. You've been that guy, mm-hmm. Steve. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's I why where, that's where you're at. That's why you're where you're at. You know what I'm right. saying? Real shit. And I got my kids to look up to. I look up to them a lot because mm-hmm. I don't want to let them down. Of course. So I put a lot of stress on me um, 
burdens that's that I can handle because other than that, like I wouldn't I wouldn't be doing anything. Yeah. It's like kind of like Jordan said, he kind of had to create his own competition for him to like spark himself up. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I got to get like that, you know what I mean? And then sometimes I got to draw myself back. Like, oh, well, see, that wasn't really real. You just said that to get hyped, nigga. Like, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> you know what sure. I mean? Like, but it also, it goes because I'm so passionate about our culture and I didn't see so many dudes come in, act like they was a thousand and then let us all down. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then I'll be around a lot of different people that look at skateboarding and they can look at me and say, well, damn, that nigga look like he's successful. Like, you know, like mm-hmm. skateboarding must be doing good. Well, hell yeah, it's doing good, nigga. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but if you ask me about it, I could actually tell you a lot more about it than you actually probably knew, even if you was a fucking Tony Hawk. You know what totally. I'm saying? Because nigga, I'm in the streets and I talk to the street niggas and the little niggas that never made it, that want to make it, that don't come from the suburbs or parents didn't want them to skate and they look at me. Those are the type of questions I get asked. Hmm. Like, how do I do it? How do I stay busy? Like, how do I get what you have? Like, how do I get past these fucking white dudes treating me like I don't belong or how I get past people calling me a white boy? Like, how do I do, how do I get past this adversity? Like, Mm -hmm. those are the questions that I get asked Mm -hmm. because Mm -hmm. those are the type of challenges that a nigga like me take on. And, I can represent it well and just say, yo, the only thing you could do is be you. Right. Because that's what they can't take from you. Mm-hmm. They may not understand what you're doing, but as long as you know what you're doing and you believe in yourself, yo, man, get that shit popping, yo. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Like, straight up. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we talk about this shit all the time. Sometimes people don't want to see me win. Sometimes I think, you know what I'm saying, a lot of skateboarders don't want to see a dope black skateboarder doing it dope for skateboarding. Sometimes I think that people think that black skateboarders shouldn't be riding no fucking skateboards. But if I thought and, and listened to that or any of these niggas for one second, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So fuck all of them niggas, yo. Mm-hmm. And fuck yeah. niggas trying to hold me back with questioning and, and challenging me for me being my authentic self. I'm going to just do me. Whatever happened, happened. And it just so happened, nigga, I came to fuck up. So yeah. back. Yes. <laughs> I say use I say use whatever energy to make yourself better. Whether it yeah. be you know yeah. what I'm saying some. I mean, you've even seen all of the yeah. types of shit that didn't came my fucking way. Straight up, where I could have gave up plenty of times, but at the end no, of the day, like I that. represent. Yeah, I, re- I represent that adversity to mm-hmm. say, damn, if I give up, that means a lot of other niggas is going to look at me like I'm a weak nigga. Like mm-hmm. sometimes I think niggas need to see my strength for them to to be stronger, mm-hmm. whether it works for me or not. Like, I don't mind being that vessel. Like, it's cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I am human and I do acknowledge it. But I actually, like, love that shit. Mm-hmm. Like, it's weird. It's like a fucking weird feeling. So I embrace it. But I also let the little niggas know, like, yo, if you want to be a nigga like me, then you better pay a fuck attention. Because the shit that you doing, nigga, you finna crack. Mm-hmm. Like, it ain't sweet. Okay. So pay attention. If you want to be successful, take it serious. If you want to, you know have fun and, and and hang out, then just do that. Eventually you don't have to get a job, but you ain't gonna know where to be no nigga like me playing around that could dumb all the fucking time not paying attention. Mm-hmm. So you can only imagine what I tell my son. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like, yeah. You see him, he'd be out there skating hard like a motherfucker because yeah. if you want to skate and be like your dad, please dog, take it serious right. and watch this whole world be in the palm of your hands and you're gonna do it correctly with some fucking integrity, yo. Man. And that's 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 what I do, like um, as a dad and as a pro skater. Like I pride myself on that right now. And anybody trying to take that away from me, I can't fuck with you yo, sure. at all. Yeah. Man, I yeah. love it, man. You're anybody, so I don't give a fuck who it is. Real words, man. Yeah, real, real shit. You got a lot of cool shit to say. You know, a lot of lot of real, oh, real yeah. shit to say. In a, in it. a teaching way too. Like yeah. some motherfuckers that are watching this. You know what I'm saying? Young or old. You know. Hey, is niggas watching this right now? No, no I'm no. saying when they do oh, okay. get a chance to watch this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, hopefully I can share some light and help, you know what I'm saying? People understand, get a little bit more in depth of who I am and how serious I take this mm-hmm. because at the end of the day, like I do pride myself on being a professional, a professional skateboarder, mm-hmm. entrepreneur, and, and a dad. Yeah. And it all like, you know, kind of synchronizes itself because I, I learned how to, comp- I learned how to, I learned, compassion mm-hmm. dubs that's what i didn't have mm-hmm. for so long that's why i'm wild, running around wild as fuck not really giving a fuck because i didn't really grow up with like 
the compassion that my kids have. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Totally. And I had to learn how to be a dad. I had to learn how to have compassion to even understand like what I understand now. And at the end of the day, it's like, fuck, it ain't nothing else to do but just do my thing and get back, yo. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, you definitely made that statement, and you are back. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, no, I'm up. back. Not I'm like back that. You, no, I'm yeah. so, I, not like that. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> fuck. In a sense of like, I'm just really stoked to see like, not for nothing. When I wake up in the morning, like your shit stuff just pops up. Oh yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like yeah, hey, yeah. Stevie's on his shit, and we're still in bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, still we're still in bed. Yeah. Like, nigga, hold up, nigga. I be in bed. I be in, I be in bed too, making this shit. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Stacking clips, man. <laughs> He's in bed posting this yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm like, like all right, whoa. Tuesday I'm gonna post this. Tuesday I'm gonna post this. All right, I'm gonna hit niggas on Thursday with this. Yeah, staying in that. Cause I be up in the morning, bored as shit though, man, making food. And shit, washing dishes. I'm like, I mean, yeah, he's fucking with niggas. Niggas like, Steve, what you doing up? Like, man, I'm a whole fucking, <laughs> my whole dad just right the now. Start my <laughs> day. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, I just got home from the gym, about to make a smoothie off this bitch. I love it. Man. <laughs> I fucking love it, dude. <laughs> so good. But yeah, when I get back to LA, I'm definitely gonna holler at y'all. Yo, we got, we got kick it in. We got to come by the beach, skate. Or, I mean, whatever. Just come on and hang out. Yeah, know? I'm in dirty ass downtown, man. Y'all want to hang out down there, man. What That's skate? Well, I don't want to be like, what skate bar you be pulling up to with the kid? Like, no, I pull up to um to um uh, uh, uh Westchester. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's my yeah. shit. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Westchester, and then um, yeah, NoHo. NoHo. No Ho. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I was skating a lot 11 in Miami. That joint is beautiful. Wow, that's yeah. bad. I've seen that clips place there. Amazing. I was like, wow. This yeah. That's under the freeway, right? It looks. Yeah, yeah. It, it looks dope. Like it. it was yeah. dope. Yeah. yeah, we went to Miami. Had a blast too. Like it was. Miami was beautiful, yo. Yeah. Many times I went there and fucked up a trip. <laughs> like that trip was like dope because they never had a skate park that you can just go and yeah. just go and skate, like yep. you know. So yeah. it it like stormed the whole time, and then we just went and skated in the rain under at the skate park and had fun watching Chaz and so dang. Sick. It was dope, yo. It yeah, by dang. the way, congrats yeah. on Chaz and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Super, super dope addition. Uh, yeah. Wow. That's my dog, yo. You know, you know, everybody know about Chaz. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Chaz got a story, and his his story, I can let him say it, but yeah. the, one of the reasons why I'm so um, excited about Chaz is because the, the amount of adversity that that dude had to overcome oh, since yeah. he was a kid. Mm hmm and I've talked to him about it in depth lots mm. of times. Like Chad is just not no like, oh, Chaz Ortiz on DGK. Like, no, we've been talking about this for like at least three years. Oh, wow. Wow. You dig what I'm wow. saying? It's just like how it has to happen, why it has to happen, mm. when it has to happen. And when it does happen, nigga, we going we gonna to make it happen. I you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and he waited and he was patient. He's, he's very persistent. But he's very professional, mm. and um, he comes from a good family. He's grounded. You know, we all got our dysfunctionalities in life. You know, we can't judge. And I thought he was a great fit for what I represented. And he said something really dope to me that nobody else said to me before ever in life. And I keep that between me and him. Okay. But he gave me the confidence to to know that he's serious about his career mm. and and skating for DGK, and 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 that made me feel like a thousand percent comfortable on. Investing into Chaz and then also investing into showing him how, how it was really done from a standpoint of not being held back. Right. And I told him that he don't ever have to worry about that shit with me and anybody that challenges him, even if they at DGK, can fucking kick rocks. Sure. And everybody mm -hmm. know that at DGK. That's tight. Like, that's my little nigga. Mm -hmm. And I'm back in Chaz and I want to see him blossom into the dude that everybody knows he can be. And I think that just that burden of people putting that distrust in him held him back. Hmm. Yeah. And now that we you know, took that away from him, unlocked that off of his shoulders, you know what I'm saying? I know free. he's feeling lighter, he's feeling better, he's right. free. He got a part that he's coming out with. He wants Ooh. to film a part. Oh man. Like, he has something to show and prove to people. And he got some work. And and I just sit back and be like, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I'm very, 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 very proud of him. Yeah. Man, he, he deserves he deserves it talent. all. He's man. a talent. Yeah, yeah. he's he's gifted. Yeah. He Definitely. really is. I talk Definitely. to him like once or twice a week and shit. Like he's a fucking solid little dude. Like he's a little man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all of the stuff that the goofy niggas in the industry try to put on him, it it worked. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because he was held back. Right. Wow. But he's a fighter, mm -hmm. and he's only 26 years old. 
Wow, opinions. he's young. Yeah, he's bro. better than a lot of these dudes that's been trying to hold him back, yo. That's crazy. Like, he's, he's better than ninety eight percent of the niggas that's been trying to hold him back, yo. Yeah. Wow. And we talked about why and how they try to hold him back. Like you know, hmm. me and him, ain't, me and him haven't shed tears yet, but you know, we locked in and we pretty damn close, like brothers on some like. You let me know what's good, and then I'll let you know what's good too. And 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 I'll I'll from my best ability, I'll I'll show you or or be with you on how you handle it. Right. But I trust that you're going to handle it like a fucking professional, my nigga. Mm-hmm. And, and he and he is. Yeah. yeah. Straight up. Well, I've, I've always been a fan of Chad. I fuck with him. Me as well. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Rips, yep. man. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying, people can look at him because the industry is changing. Mm-hmm. And you know, all of the old shit that was governed before. Let's yeah, follow the wayside. Yeah, let's follow the wayside. No yeah. That right. goofy ass shit don't work no more. And niggas need to figure out how they going to really start representing street skateboarders, not the fucking bubblegum goofy shit, yo. Mm. And I've been a part of the bubblegum bo- goofy <laughs> shit too, so I can't really like say too much, but I do know how authenticity, how far that shit goes and, you know, what side to be on when it's all said and done. Mm-hmm. So, you know, our industry means a lot to a lot of people. I think it need to start meaning more to us and, and, and showing love to the niggas that we know deserve it, yo. Yeah, yeah man. And not, sure. not shit on them. Straight up, yo. Yeah. Politics shit is whack, yo. Absolutely. Yeah. And then you know, never play out in our it never play out in our favor either. That's man. what sucks. The politics is fucking horrible and it never plays out into street skaters' favor. Well, as you as you just said, it is changing, you know, which is it is. It's good. Well, we gotta you know? make it change. We gotta make it, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's why I question a lot of things at night when I go to sleep, and I have a lot of notes. Mm. But it all boils down to, like I said, like who controls our industry standards? Yeah. Right. Well, I, we, I, I bet you that's a question that that corporate motherfuckers ask themselves in their meetings about our industry as a whole, and there's nobody to represent that for us. For sure, at that's all. True. I could. Get, yeah. I agree with you on that. I love it, man. <laughs> I know. I, Doug, I, you know, I get crazy with this goofy mm-hmm. ass, but I love it though. Fuck yeah. It, why not? It ain't goofy. You, it's but, just it's thought provoking. I mean, it gets you to think. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just goofy that we lack the fucking power right. and leverage that we supposed to. Right. Until we collectively come together as a unit, and mm-hmm. and um, not to say take anything over, but just you know, structure. govern our yeah, govern our structure. Yeah. yeah. Be more, be more aware him. and right. really set your That's shit up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe 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 you're the dude. You know, maybe not, nigga. Maybe I'm just a dad. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'm just a nigga that smoke all types of weed and I think about it. shit and write it down at nighttime. I don't know. I, I love it. Know. Well, anytime, hey, dude. But I know I'm a nigga that can't do it by itself. So, Whatever. You know. no. I'm hey. in your. I'm. On, I, I. I got you. I'm. Right? I got, you got your back. Down. I got your back. Hey, bro. we all Real got shit. your back. Hell and yeah. listen, we we're I here know, anytime you want to jump on. Yes. The stop and chat with us and rap out Absolutely. and just. You I don't really be having too much to say, y'all. I just. I love watching y'all. I love yeah. skating. I love keeping shit to myself. But when you when you guys bring me on, like y'all can bring me on here and here and there, and we'll do some updates on yeah, yeah. On, on cultural things that's yeah, lacking yeah. in our industry. Absolutely, <laughs> definitely, absolutely. And if some people want to come and, and and express lack thereofs, then fuck it. Let's make it happen. It's a it's an open, positive conversation that we yeah. can have to bring out the the essence of our sport you know what i'm saying hey we're here for it mm-hmm. might get somebody to, you might get somebody to sponsor our little situation you might make might make a couple of dollars yeah? we are here for it <laughs> <laughs> we are here for it okay <laughs> No, I Listen, got you. I love y'all to death. Y'all. Hey, we love you too, Steve. Stevie. You and know, dude, Stevie. thank you so much for stopping Absolutely. and chatting with. The, and like I said, come back anytime because I, it's man, you have a lot to say, and I, 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 I sit here, I, I listen to, to you, and yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hanging off every, I didn't, every I word. I started cutting into my goddamn drinking time. I know, day. I know. It's about that, man. <laughs> nah, sometimes when you preach, you motherfuckers I didn't is cut into listen. my goddamn hookah time. Goddamn right? <laughs> Shit. Listen, y'all don't even know about hookah. Y'all need a hookah over there. Yo. We need a. <laughs> we don't got a. We don't That's got what a we need, Chris. We need you don't one. have a hookah. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll, we'll install one here on the table. We'll install a hookah. Yeah. Wait, you install it? It's not a microphone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll, 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 we'll add it right here. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. We'll super glue what, one what, down. What, do you know what hookah is, Chris? Yeah, you with the coals and everything, and the. Oh, and the okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because last time, you know, you know, we get cultural. We talked about roof, Chris. Yes. Now we get to talk about hookahs and cultural things like that you know what i'm saying yeah, i man. would love to hookah 
with Stevie Williams. Come on. Let's go. We should get Ruth Chris to pay us to, to come and have a dinner there. Yo. I'll take a gift card, whatever, <laughs> like, for real. Yeah, we got to hook some fancy shit up, though. We got to do a big, yo. Man, I haven't I'm been to Ruth Chris in a while, man. This is... It's been a minute. Oh, it's been COVID, minute. you know what I'm saying? I don't think a lot of motherfuckers been to Ruth Chris. I don't even think Ruth Chris has been to Ruth Chris. Ruth Chris, <laughs> Ruth Chris has expensive. not been to nah. Ruth Chris. Uh-uh. Ruth ain't even been at Ruth Chris. <laughs> man, man. Listen, She's been chilling. But uh, we could set something up in LA where we could just like just stay consistent. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking with y'all though. So don't think. Hey, you're always welcome here. We love you. And uh, let's 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 have a skate session. Come back anytime. Come kick it with us. In deep conversation about deep. where we need to be in the skateboard industry. Yes, yes, yes. We can collectively do that together, mm-hmm. my brothers. Yeah, mm-hmm. let's get it. My man. Hey, Stevie right, Williams. Hey, thank you so much. We're going to let you get on to your uh, drinking time and your hookah time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. My life. Your life. <laughs> thank you for uh, taking the time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, thanks, I mean, uh, thanks a lot, Stevie. I'm, yeah. um, I'll definitely be in touch with y'all, man. I appreciate the love and support, yo. Always. Always. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it popping, yo. I love it. 1,000. 1,000. 1,